The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interest at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Oh, this nigga matched the bag with the hat and the shoes. Oh, oh shit. Hey, oh, Parks, hit the ball. Oh, this is better. Nah, son, I didn't even. I didn't know that. Hey, yo. You you're a baddie, that. man. Yo, you really, you really. Hey, yo, you, you give a nigga some money, nah, boy. Call Natalie, not, yo. You need to be no on money. the next baddies. <laughs> I see why they don't want to give us no money, yo. Who they, who they don't want to give money to? Us. Us. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, no, they ain't want to. You forced your Oh, my business partners is like, joy to have you. You're killing it. You're crotching. <laughs> why, why, they, why they do that? Because I kill where I go. You make them spanky where you go. Nah. Yeah, that's that's important. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just finished telling Ack on his podcast. Hey, no such thing as cancel culture because if you're valuable, <laughs> you'll be fine. Try to tell Melissa that. America, we just tried to have I don't that make the sk- rules. We, it, I don't make the rules. This is America. <clears throat> if you're valuable, you'll be valuable. So, so right. what you're saying is, if you're valuable enough to Disney or Marvel, Marvel that maybe some things might just work in your favor, or they'll make some things happen. They'll overlook the choke. I didn't say nothing about a choke. Smack. I didn't say nothing about anything. I'm okay. just saying things. Oh, all right. Just things. Well, I was just asking. Some negativity comes out. My favorite thing, though, about, about all this shit, that love black women. They went and found old pictures of Jonathan Majors. Did they? That nigga looked oh, like this, a this, fucking... This who y'all heartthrob yeah. is right here, huh? <laughs> oh, he was, he was throbby back then, huh? <laughs> yeah. You seen them pictures, Mel? <laughs> That's no, hate. I haven't. That's hate. I was, that question. is definitely hate. <laughs> that was hate. That is hate. That's That's hate. That's hate. But it's fine. We'll allow it. It was hate? Yeah. It was, yeah. Was, was, Does anybody want to show me the pictures so you can get a genuine reaction? You might not want to see them pictures. Come on. I, come on. That's hate again. <laughs> that was, That's not back hate. To back hate. <laughs> I just don't back think she likes Jonathan People, Majors. Oh, oh okay. Now I hear. A lot of fast break hate points. Okay. Okay. Hate. Okay. Hate. This nigga's a fool. I'm just saying. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. Yeah, you had to do that on camera. You so corny as hell, You had to do that on camera? You really corny. No. I know. I didn't know that we were recording when we were recording. I need my hater blockers. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, hold on. This nigga got a new pair of glasses. That's what it was. He got to show you a new pair. I got to show you. He's old and he make it. You can't get these right. Ooh. Cool flex. Cool you flex. See, you see him? Cool you see flex. Him? I've never seen you wear those never. glasses. I've never seen you. Never. I've been here two years. I've never seen you wear those glasses. <laughs> he, not glasses. That, he got, he got yeah, another man. pair in the bag, too. <laughs> you got some lip glass in there? Some, some candies. <laughs> yo, look at this nigga, yo. <laughs> My guy got the travel time for it. Play with him. <laughs> Play with him. <laughs> Look, yo, let me see that. I mean, let me see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, you know, I, I don't hate the game. <laughs> Rose <laughs> de Mafi. Hey, it's just... Oh, they didn't ask for that. I'm on shit, nigga. Sense ain't to be passed around the room. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I want to start us out with some energy Unless you guys have some funny jokes Then I won't play no energy He was already on your head Paul. Are y'all's on me? Bro you got the matching bucket With the matching merch. That's my normal bag Y'all seen that bag a million Not times with the Not with them shoes I've had and that shoes, shoes for mad long And they just put this bucket out recently I was feeling rather run DMC-ish today mm, That's not so Adidas That's, that's not, what I did rich DMC I don't wear Adidas I didn't know they had an endorsement with Palm Angel. Who? DMC. DMC? Oh, I don't know. They don't. I don't know. <laughs> this was nice. Clearance rack shit. Well, Jeff, well, you know, before we got on camera, <laughs> these fellas was telling us that Joe didn't invite them out, and he does. Uh, no, no, no. That's not how that started. On plenty of podcasts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Start, uh, how, start how it started, though. Your, don't talk to start how it started. Don't talk to my yeah, man. Put like yeah, put your cape on. Oh, put your cape on. I just want to be honest. Well, 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 let's let's start how it started, though. My man always invites y'all out. Let's start yeah, what where we it doing started. Tonight, y'all? What we doing Actually, tonight? hold on. He said, Mel and Flip, <laughs> we ain't been to the hookah spot in a while. 
That's he didn't say male flip. I, I didn't hear that part. Did you get it? I bet you did. I bet you didn't because your cape was covering your ears. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I got a helmet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Oh, you come on, freeze there. No, no, never. I'm gonna get never, you freeze there. Never, huh? never, never. But you did. But and he free did. said, "Yo, Ish, you got an invite to the hookah spot?" I said, "No," and I love Love sixty six. And I, I love Frozen. That's a very good memory. But at the same time, why are you guys not memory is not remembering when he said, "Yo, what are we doing tonight?" That's not yeah, inviting niggas to the hookah You spot. always do this. I'm be with my daughter. That you was, say, no, I got work. I got to go to Home Depot and, and, and yeah. try to make a deal to get, <laughs> get 80 that, sheet rocks. You know why I ain't both of these three dollars Because all I know how to say is, yo, I had a baby. <laughs> like, we, I, we all did. <laughs> See, he's right. <laughs> well, right. No, he's not right. Me too, nigga. He's not right. Me too, He's not right, but because he's my man, I'm going to shut up. We all did, nigga. What's up? When the last time you went out with Joe? Now we waking it up. Niggas get this gig two and stop ago. wanting to hang out with me. Two, two years ago, two years, really? The last time I went Niggas out get with this Joe. gig and stop wanting why, to hang out with me. Why you think that's crazy, Freeze? Why you think I that? Got a, I got a few theories as to why trap. I don't know. Maybe I'm not the most fun to hang out with that much. <laughs> like I'm open to that. Right. I'm open to that. Uh, what else? Also, maybe these niggas. Come on. Let, 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 come on. And right. niggas, what? I think. Finish your I sentence. think that niggas get to enjoying the fruits of their hard work. And in doing that, that don't necessarily mean hang out with Joe. That mean let me get out here. You know what I mean, stay out here shaking it up. I don't. I don't okay, give, it, you shaking it up, <laughs> Joe. You are covertly shaking it up. <laughs> hey, Joe. I'm, I'm, Joe, you are covertly shaking it you up. You are covert crazy, nigga. I am I as rigid as a statue. I'm I ain't sure. shaking nothing. I'm you guys sure. Are the shakers. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. He right. I agree they with you. I'm shaking it up. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the thing. I'm shaking it all around. <laughs> the places I go are, are beneath you. Mm. Oh. Mm. So we don't hang out. If they're beneath me, they're beneath you. No, they're not. I'm not you, nigga. Oh, reverse. No, they're not. Yeah, reverse. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> if they're beneath me, they're beneath you. No, they're not. How yeah, not so? Yeah. How not so? Because I go if there. I shouldn't be there. I didn't say, no, no, I didn't say nothing about shouldn't. There's places that you could go. It's not shitting at all. Mm. Mm. They you are could, beneath your you taste. You don't elect to go there. Uh, like where? He put a draw Such two. Ass. He put a draw two. I ain't put a draw two. It's just a little, little red three. This is a regular car. Right, right. It's a regular he stacked car. stacked a few. No, threes. you see, he said the red three. Yeah, they the threw a bunch of threes. The red, red, three. red, blue, green. You lucky he ain't say the red five. No, that don't mean nothing. To <laughs> I don't. That's where, where do you hang out? Spot. I think that's sad. North. I think that's sad that as male friends, we don't know where each other. Only mm. y'all know everything about me. That's not true. Only y'all know where. Well, you I only hang go out. the same place all the time. Uh, you don't well, go to All right, but where do y'all go? I think that's fucked up that I don't know. Yeah, wake you, that up. Because you wake don't go. Up. I think it's fucked up that you don't go to his spots. No, that I don't know where y'all go. I ain't got to be there. I'm Why a, I don't even you know? You made Mister East outside. jokes about us how many times on the pod? What is that? <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I what know. is that? I know. Is that no, you're right. No, you're right. Bar, no, you're right. lounge, no, you're right. hookah right. spot. You're right. Just say what it is. I don't know what it is. So tell you me. don't. I was, I'm talking to him. So can you tell me I would like to go? Mr. East is a club in Jersey. And uh, that Joe wouldn't. You know what I mean? Yo, Ish called me one day and said, yo, I'll be at your house before halftime. <laughs> That was oh, long, yeah, you can't believe that. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Hey, yo, hold up. Exactly. You I, know not the, I know not to believe that. That was a long time ago. He don't, he don't, he don't, <laughs> everything we used to do together, he just, they just won't do no more. Maybe we should ask them. We should ask them. Why? So, I we had know. a baby. Some of the things that we used to do together involved in, um, Fuck y'all being single? activities that I don't necessarily Maybe engage it's growth, in anymore. Maybe it's growth. Our it is growth. is not based We grew, he did. I didn't say, I didn't uh, say. What's them third chick's name? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, so the Rat Jones over here. Yeah, <laughs> snitching Sam friend, over our here. Our friendship is not based around what we used to. The two on two we used to run. Oh, see, hey trap, hey trap. See what happens is when you grow, two on right? Three, sometimes. Talk to me. sometimes people don't grow with you. <laughs> mm. They stay stagnant and stay action? doing the Never. same thing yeah. that was you was doing. Say, yeah, like you know, niggas don't do that. No more. And that causes a disconnect. It causes, not even a disconnect. It's just okay. That's your thing. You do that. No, they stopped playing that. Monopoly with me. I was that's so dominant. I heard he killed y'all last time. That's what I'm hearing. Streets. I don't know, bro. It seems like you're not with you game? a lot. That's, that happens a lot of Yeah, my nigga, strike one. That got the job. Strike one. Strike one. Oh, no, no, no. That got the job. Strike one. That got the job. Hold on, hold on. Strike one. Strike one. Strike one. He from outside. I don't give a fuck. He peeped the case. He peeped the case. He peeped the case. And my cape is on, nigga. He peeped the case. And my cape is on. I done did 10 years in the pen, bro. I've been ran out of strikes. That's strike one here, nigga. That's 
Yes, yo, yo, bring a bitch in time to my nigga. I ran out of strength. That's time on the end, nigga. Your nickname is Pom Poms. Can I get a G? G? Can I get a O? O? What are we missing? That's you, my man. man. Skirty. That's my man. All, right. you got, you got all that shit cool. You got the little pleated skirt. All on. that shit cool, but y'all niggas still ain't go out. As soon as y'all niggas is lit, everybody. Y'all been lit. 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 Yeah, don't do that. Don't hold do on, that. on, but y'all still got lit on here. Y'all niggas start doing your own lit. shit. A lit attitude. All right, you so gonna wake up something. A lit attitude. Yeah, yeah, you, really, you, you better. Hey, yo. You want to? You want to talk? Whoa. Let's talk. Let's talk. How did I get lit from here? I hate when you do that. Let's kill the narrative. I hate when you do that. I hate when you do that. I hate when you do that. I can tell you. Yo, stop. Now, nigga, bow to this nigga. Wah, wah. From my perspectives on the Joe Budden podcast. Yes. And I'm Keep going. You still got lit. You keep going after that. A nigga bowed and wah, wah. A nigga bowed? Yo, what are you talking about? Ish, hey, ish. What is he talking about? A nigga bowed to Ish, I seen 15 niggas line up when you walked in the spot to come over and greet. Yeah, stop, yo. Yeah. And you know what I'm talking about. You got lit on Where I go now, sometimes bitches ask me about you, nigga, and we ain't hung out in years. Where you think that's coming from? Exactly. My exposure. I met your high school ex girlfriend. And he's lying. <laughs> he ain't told me the bitch I met your yet. high school ex girlfriend. She's, 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 she's not lying. She's not lying. She's not lying. You don't even know the girl. She's lying. I know. All right, forget it. Mel, walk out. Yo, I met your high school. <laughs> yo, Mel, partner. Yo, 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 yeah, nigga. You're an idiot. Stop. Yo. Stop. Don't do that. No, but y'all go ahead. Accept your litness. Yeah, that's my thing. Don't debate litness. You lit. You lit. When what? you get you lit, lit, you look at things from a different perspective and you do things on your own time. <laughs> that's the truth. That's the, th then so that's the truth. Hey, that's the truth. These niggas is lit. These niggas is lit now. So you say you was lit before this. That's what I'm saying. But Joe and them saying, like, your lit ability came from... And I'm, and I'm, and I'm disputing that. No, that. you... All right, then we staying right here. Just for con fun and content. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just for fun and content, we staying right here. I, don't think, I can't even... I don't yeah. Trap a trouble hey, What the fuck is he talking about? Yo? What, ice, talking what about? is he talking about? I don't need ice to save me, my I'm nigga. not trying let's to go. save you. I can't. All right, all right. All right. This is my question for you just for content's sake. You 47. Yes. Give us and the audience... A timeline of your littiness. Mm. I can't do that because I don't. He's been lit his whole life. I'm not, <laughs> gauge, <laughs> I'm not gauging none of that. No, because he say, was hold lit on, hold in high on, school. Let me say this. He was skating around. He no, was let, me, let me say this. Hampton Day. In the last lit. two years I've been on the Joe Budden podcast, my life has not changed outside of people seeing me outside and recognizing who I am. So your notoriety. That's my notoriety that's has changed. That's the litness that that's they speak of. That's not lit. They got make, your that money is lit. That's, well, is. We, all right, well, so look, now, now we can agree to disagree because what I'm considering... Litness is not that. Hold on. So that's fair. Your so popularity is, is up yes. and that's your it. money is up. That's my money is, is not up, really. So you probably had bread. My money ain't up, We're not up, saying Joe? your bread wasn't right, but it, your, your, your don't notoriety. Don't my, my, my money is up from the pod? Oh. You saying from the pod. And I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Ish today at 47 years old is more popular yes. and his money is up. I'm not saying the pod has your money up. Okay. I'm saying today your yes. popularity and money My popularity is up. as a result of the Joe Budden podcast. I, I ain't even putting that in. No, no, I'm, no, I'm saying, saying Antoine's don't say me. popularity is up. and money. Yes. How the fuck is that not lit? And I'm not saying, I'm not disputing that. You did. Oh, you just not. saying, he's saying I always been lit. I'm just saying this. My notoriety and my popularity publicly are up higher than they've ever been as a result of the Joe Button podcast. That's that what makes lit sense. Means. That's the litness. Yeah. That's okay, the cool. That's, that's, that's lit. Yes. All right, well, I stand corrected. Yeah. That's, that's, cool. that's y'all definition of lit, then that wasn't What is your all. definition of lit? <laughs> <laughs> my, de <laughs> my definition of lit is, <laughs> nigga, I'm, you I'm jet setting, I'm traveling, I'm doing all of these other things. That's no, what I consider to be lit. No, no. Just you that walking outside you, and a whole bunch of niggas that, know who you is. That, that ain't that means you up, nigga. Doing that means you up. That means you up doing that. But that don't mean you lit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because you could be up and not lit. Exactly. A lot of niggas Yeah, you could be lit and not up. We only talking about lit. That ain't lit to me, though. That's why I said our definition. Freeze, talk to this nigga. Freeze. Just acknowledge that your definition. Your definition is different than the world. So you think... Good. We can stay here. So you think, and this is gonna be a problem. And you, this is my. <laughs> right, watch this. Stop so looking you, for an ally. I'm not. <laughs> look at that shit, man. 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 Look at that sh
are you really lit if you broke and popular? I don't define that as lit. All right, but that, <laughs> there's a, the consensus says you're wrong. But how did he add broken? Because because we said Where'd yo you get broke from? no no because I'm saying that you're not broke. Y'all saying if you are popular, <laughs> yeah. that's lit. That's the definition. Y'all definition oh, he's trying of to divide lit. our argument to make what he's saying right. Nah. You said you broke. <laughs> and, I mean, not money up and popular. Don't add broke. Hmm. Out. I said I already I already caved in and said yo I'm rock with y'all definition then okay I'm under y'all definition as in like, life yo. you've been up you have been, up. been at certain times okay. I've been down too okay but you've been that's up. why I asked for the timeline can I hear the parts about the parts of life that you were down oh man what Just no, talk not, about it not a, the stories but bunch. the but the segments the um, years yeah yo bro three four years ago I was tapped out for a period mm-hmm. I mean because it's it's cyclical so. You know, you ride the wave. It could be times when you six, seven figures. It could be times when you barely got three, four figures. It just, it, it come, you know what I'm saying? In, in, in cycles. I got it. So, you know, again, I, you could have six figures in the bank. You be, He don't want to sh- acknowledge that I added to his litness. Yeah, yeah exactly. that, I didn't say that. And that's yeah, what he did. I didn't say that at all. I just said as a result. Let let him say. Yeah, you did. You did. I said that's as it. a result. You said you're not even saying that. I said as a result of the Joe Button podcast, I am more popular than I've but ever been in my life. He don't consider that lit. Mm. Yeah, but our definition of lit. That's how this is. That's how this is. Your notoriety has increased. Through the ceiling. Bingo. Through the ceiling. It's not a place that I go that somebody in the don't notice me. I'm in Neiman Market yesterday. And the lady was like, yo, I just got to tell you I love y'all. I just got to tell you I love y'all. Mm. And she made her way over to me to say, yo, I just got to tell you I love y'all. And I was like, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So I'm, that's you something alone? new. Yeah, that's sure. something new. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's something new. So I, I'm not saying that. I, I said my definition of what I consider to be lit, popular don't make you lit right. for me. That's where we, the disconnect came. He was going to be in Neiman's regardless of what he said. The person was going to handle him nice okay? either way. Yeah, man, either so way. Stupid. Your eyebrows was like. going Bro, up. Your what's down. up? Your eyebrows was going okay? Are you intrigued by what he's saying? Uh, I'm just active. I'm a hater. I'm a hater. You are such a hater. Yeah, I'm active. I am. I am. I am. Fuck that nigga. Now look. Ish. <laughs> Fuck you. That nigga got this big connection that I'm unaware of. I got a lot of receipts that I'm holding for my little YouTube. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> when I get kicked off, I'm on the map. He's the only one off limits. All right. Uh, what's up? What's happening? What's important? What's not important? Polygamy. I wonder who wrote that up there. <laughs> Would you call the cops on a woman if you feel she's sexually? I wonder who wrote that up there. <laughs> what? All right. Is there any manly shit that we could talk about for a little bit? Would you ever be one of two husbands? I saw a post um, where this woman was sitting in that. between her two husbands. I saw that. A woman was what? A woman was sitting in between her two husbands. Yes. What was that movie called? There was a movie about that. Bullshit. I think she was <laughs> married to one for 15 years. Yeah. I was like, oh, she a gangster. Yeah. Word. They've That's... been married for, yeah, she's been married to both of them for a lengthy amount of time. And um, they seem to cohabitate pretty, you yeah, know, hap- I saw happily. That. Yeah. I and I just, <laughs> I just wondered if you guys could be one of. Two husbands. Huh? Why not? Um, I'm Apex. I'm an Apex man. I like A-Rexes too, but... (laughs) So, you know, like, I just... And I'm territorial. So it's my... You know, I'm going to lay out the blueprint. I'm going to do what's necessary to make sure we good. Is territorial a better word for jealous? Nah. It means... Because I don't don't consider myself jealous. Um, you know, I, I, if any woman I'm dating, I'm going to give her the freedom to respect what we got going on. And then if I don't appreciate what you got going on, we're going to have a conversation and then I can remove myself. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm okay with, we ain't got to go back and forth. We don't got to fuss. We don't got to do that. Yo, you know where I land. You know how I'm rocking. This how you rocking. I don't appreciate that. We can have a grown ass conversation. And then if you like, no, I'm going to still do this. I'm like, bet, cool. I'm going to leave. I'm, okay. I'm good, right? I think, I think that's the way to handle that. But in a situation where if I'm dating somebody, if I'm with someone, I'm all in. Okay. I'm a, I'm, I feel like if... She might only want half of you and the other half to the other nigga. So I could dip. Hard to be all in <laughs> and there's someone else already in there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I don't mind I dipping. Play, I don't it. mind dipping. Like, I'm cool. So I'm going to be all in. And I'm going to want to build... I'm always thinking... I'm at the phase now where I'm thinking legacy. Right? So if I'm thinking legacy, if I'm thinking... Like, we was just talking about old money... I don't feel personally 
that me, you, and another man can create a legacy. Can create that legacy. I don't think so. Shit hyphenated. Because now we gotta <laughs> now I gotta I got I have to embed or dilute my morals with his morals. I don't think that's necessarily true. Okay, when, let's when talk start, about it. When you start having children and shit, it is. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like that, that's legacy. Because that's other, legacy. But that's why I'm disagreeing. Because in this situation, there could be that you could customize the situation for you. She don't have to be uh, fucking with this nigga like that. She had There's two different. husbands, my nigga. Like so, <laughs> in the house together. <laughs> they live together. So look, let's that just say hypothetically, mean me and you have the same chick. Men don't have the right to get their sex from elsewhere. All it says is I she has about two this. husbands. Not talking about sex. I ain't talking about the sex. He said legacy. So let's say some offspring come out of that particular situation. Well, if y'all not fucking, then where's the offspring coming from? So how we married? Married? How, So now how we in a relationship? Who said we not fucking? They married. I'm saying if the other husband uh -huh. is not fucking the wife, uh -huh. okay, okay, then no kids is coming. Then from they that. just cool. So no, why are they married? That's a different question. But the question says, can you have two husbands, or could you be one of two husbands? It didn't add the stipulations. I'm still there with the with the with the kids part because if even, they not even fucking, if one of them is not fucking, if they ain't fucking, then. I wouldn't mind a little help around the house. No, look. Even, <laughs> hey, look, Jerry. Jerry. Stop it. <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> Jerry. this fucking garbage. <laughs> nigga. She wanted me to do it, but nah, I got to lay. Nah, I wouldn't mind a little help. Nah, look, nah, so nah, hold on, hold on. Even hold, that, hold on. 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 Hold Even if he not fucking her, me and her are fucking, uh -huh. we have a child. He's living in this household. Yo, this nigga's morals and shit is coming into play with raising his kid. That's facts. That's true. So all of that matter. I'm with them. Nah. Yeah, I just, I just don't feel it ain't about like, the fucking. Yeah, it's just, even like, or they sharing some levels of intimacy. Or are you? Oh, my bad. Go ahead. Ed. Nah, nah. The side or, nigga sharing some level of intimacy. Yeah. Like I don't want you even stroking my bitch's hair. Yep. I don't want you caressing my chick. And when it when it yeah, comes to do that when it comes to us just building and having the type of conversation, our communication may be different. Mm. So you 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 communicating with me, you like yo, I, I understand <sighs> traps cadence. I understand how he vibing. I understand his tone. But then now you got to switch to go talk to him. That's true. Yeah. What he, you? He just we, made that up, though. No, I didn't. No. What you instilling your girl? What if she did not have to switch? You have to. No two men communicate the same. Yeah. But we talking about how she communicates with each of them. Yeah. Why does she and have to change who she is? She doesn't. She does. She, that's not true. She does. I, I'm I don't asking. Know if she has to. She change. definitely has, has to. to consistently adapt. She has to because. Over a period of time, right? Over a period of time. If you get with a girl and you got with her on day one, based on your communication style, based on what you are instilling in your chick, in three, four years, she's not supposed to be the same chick based on what you have given, poured into her. I like that. Right? So if you getting, I, I, you a big empty um, pitcher. And I'm pouring certain shit into you. You got another nigga pouring grape Kool-Aid. I'm pouring strawberry Kool-Aid. It's not going to be at the end of the three, four, five year span. When y'all describe it, it's different than how it is in my head when I hear, could you be one of two husbands? Every time y'all describe it, y'all make it sound like the other husband could whoop up on y'all. <laughs> no. What you that's mean? what it sounds like in y'all. I don't even know what you got. That's uh, yeah, I don't what the know fuck what you talking about? You just what said you talking? you're an empty pitcher. The lady is an empty pitcher. Your girl. Let's say how long boy gonna do what the fuck I say in this house? No, but that don't got to No. Your girl. How long you been with your girl? In real life? Yeah. Going on four years. Okay, cool. So the the girl that she was four years ago, she's not the same girl today. Not based at all. on based on your conversation, your instruction, your whatever <laughs> that you have. Niggas in the show. She said you were like, like, say <laughs> no to that. Look, look, look. Listen. I, I say you, partially. I'm, I'm not finished. You not the same man again. Conversely, based on y'all communication, stuff that she might have taught you or poured into you. Because we always try to make these conversations uh, misogynistic in one way, and I'm Ooh. not saying that. So what I'm saying is, when you have a girl, you want your girl to be a certain way. You are leading your girl, and your girl is leading you so that y'all could get to a certain space. And when you have I'm enough, saying to you, let me when she says I'm almost there. that sound like it's from him... I'm going to the second bedroom to smack the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, don't talk to my so fucking... You, so what I'm telling you is... You, don't talk to our wife like look, that. Don't talk yeah. that. So if he can't we'll talk, talk to, to her wife. in the manner that he wants, then you're not okay with him being the second husband. Oh, that's not true. 
Not that you should be. You can be the second husband, but this Shut is. Up. I'm. I'm. I'm a uh, captain of this ship, nigga. You acquiesce as the fuck I tell you to. So right. you you not conversing with him? I hope not. I'm conversing with him. What's up? Now I got to walk past his bedroom. Hey, nigga, wake up. So you pouring into him too? Huh? Pause. What is that? You pouring Yo. into him too? Wait, wait. I don't what? know if you're trying to be funny. I'm not. Because so, we going to be serious. Will he be able to learn from me? I'm sure he would. I'm and, and vice versa, no? So that's your son. Yeah. yeah, that's your kid. Yeah, nigga. That's your little bro. That's me. Uh, that's not my co-husband. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say? So what's your perspective? Yeah, I'll, I'll what the fuck it. you talking about? That's little bro. <sighs> Let me hear your perspective. Oh. In this particular situation, like, you yes. know, what we read on the blog, the yeah. plot thickens because one of the husbands has a second wife. Mm. So it's a true polygamous situation. I'm done with them. I oh wow! Got them. So I didn't like, know that. It seems to be like right. they seem to have like employed the whole mentality of it takes a village. A group, a group you know, economics, yeah. group yeah. economics, and it takes a village. So oh, I, I heard Trap say that before too. What? It takes a village. It does. But y'all, y'all don't want niggas in the village. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, ain't no niggas sneaking in my TP. Nah, put his arrow in my bitch. What you talking about, nigga? You know what a TP is? I know what it is. What is it? I know what a TP is. All right. Okay. So why I got to fix my English? Oh, I was about to say so. In the world of pausism, mm -hmm. sounds crazy. I'm just telling you. TP is an Indian. I, all right. Never mind. I know what a TP I, is. Right. Chill out. You doing I it again? Said, so a nigga not coming in here, putting his arrow in my bitch. Where's the pause in that? Coming in my TP. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, I did say it takes a village, but I mean, not two dudes. Yeah, yeah. well, well, not, not, well, not, well I'm gonna say not, 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 not a village not two of husbands. penises. <laughs> Meaning, <laughs> like a family. Yeah. Yeah. Like it takes a, a, yeah. a father, a, a neighborhood, mother, an auntie, a right. neighbor, a but grandmother, why, but why, a second it, husband. Why is the second husband not a part of the family? <laughs> it ain't part of my family yeah, because you can't well, call well, yourself well, a. You know, shit. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, not my nigga. I'm on. We, yeah, we, we in the green right. over here. Yeah. Fuck that. Right. Cool. I want to pause the point this assistance, to nigga. let the three of you know. I'm just fucking around. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We know. We know. We know. We definitely know. I'm just shooting the shit. Like you nah, can't have right. a title husband if you not lead. Yeah, I'm not, I'm yeah. not that. And I pride myself in being a leader, man. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I have a blueprint. Like, yo, you gonna get this credit score up, and the other nigga telling you, nah, go get the new car, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. You work hard out. for it. Go max the card out. How you do? <laughs> 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 Fucking what, nigga? What the fuck is you talking about? Hey, well, you gonna find his pubes in your soap and shit? It's, it's not gonna be cool. Yeah, he uses my yo. soap. See, yo, yo, he gonna be tight. Yo, 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 he keep it in a box. Flagrant. <laughs> that's why, why is, why is that's the him. other dude touching your bar soap? Cause y'all pussy. Y'all pussy. Yo. That nigga got in the shower and grabbed your Irish spring. <laughs> Let me tell you some gangster shit. You ever went to somebody's house and wiped your hands on their decorative towels? Unfortunately. I've wiped more than that on a You feel me? <laughs> so, when you're not home, Unfortunately. when you're not home, <laughs> Homeboy I don't, is doing I don't some care shit. how scared he is of you, when you're not home, he that, might gives, use your toothbrush, that gives him even much more, like, you know what? He Fuck think, he think I'm scared of him. I'm wiping his toothbrush under <laughs> <Look>. the toilet. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Just because, just because you think you yeah. scare him that much. I want to play a clip for y'all. <laughs> and... I want you guys to just tell me what you think of the clip. This is from one of these motivational speaker niggas. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what I think of the clip. I might have heard it, but go ahead. Oh God. Yeah, you might have heard this. It just sound like your bag a little bit. <laughs> She wants to be heard. She wants to feel safe. 
and Joe. The, the very first thing I said was, I want to hear what y'all I know. think of this. It's the clip. JBP. The JBP. <laughs> yeah, which means I'll have the final say. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for clearing reverse. that up. <laughs> yeah. Reverse. 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 Yo. Oh, man. Mel, you can start us off if you like. She rolled her eyes. She did the She's whole, still rolling her yeah, eyes. She's still, I, I thought that. that was from my earlier shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. That so you're was... performing like a seven year old because you're rosing your. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Yo, Mel. <laughs> She's very like, Whoa. Whoa. un Canadian. Un Canadian. Very un Canadian. <laughs> she got him. <laughs> that shit is some baby back fucking bullshit. He said it is fucking disgusting. If the only way to understand the complexity of a woman's emotions is to infantilize her, like that shit was such I'm sorry? garbage. Infantilize. <laughs> I Look, love that that's word. nigga here, boy. It just like in, in order to Infant. understand a woman is to just d basically like just pare her down to being an infant and treating her like a child because you can't understand the complexity of emotion. Like that shit was fucking garbage. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Who the fuck doesn't want comfort? Human beings want comfort. I, I, I hate, I hate that div divisiveness of women want, men need, blah, 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 when it's really like the human fucking experience. That shit pissed me off. I fucking, I hated every ounce of it. Treat your woman like a seven-year-old child. The fuck? <laughs> I like it. Oh, you gave me the Jamaican teeth suck? <laughs> <laughs> Next. Next. You probably should have went left. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. They just can't even beat themselves anymore. Uh, <laughs> I think communication is key. So one of the things I did with my daughter's mom, so I moved her to Atlanta with me, got her own crib and everything. And that was so we can communicate in close proximity and raising my child, right? And our child. One of the things I... I so I used to be of the mindset of women are emotional, women are emotional, women are emotional, but emotion is a human trait. We yep. all have moments of it. Correct. So with me, in dealing with her, I would never try to deal with her like she's a child. I have grown up communication with her and me understanding that sometimes she can be overly or overtly emotional means that she's passionate about what it is that's going on. Mm -hmm. And it takes me some time to, okay, if I see her emotion high, not to try to match her emotion, what I didn't do is sit back and be like, okay, why is it that she's so emotional about this? So I always take it into perspective, mm -hmm. but to, to down her or to, especially for me because now I'm so successful, I think sometimes success can make you, if you don't check it, so I always check my success at the door. It can make you talk down on people. It can make you look at people different. Mm -hmm. So I always check my success at the door so I'm meeting her on an even playing field. And the reason why I use her is because I, that's the woman I have the most interactions with. Mm -hmm. And I would never for a second play her as anything other than the amazing being that she is. Mm -hmm. Well said. Boy, that boy good. Well said. You can tell that boy been in front of them cameras, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he left all that gangsta doll and shit back there. Yeah, you know, because this is ain't the conversation. You know, on the level, you know? we got him on the level. This ain't the conversation for it. You know, when we talk and talk, you know, we talk, talk. But when we talking about, especially communication with women, um, I think, I ain't gonna lie, one of the things I don't like right now is the dudes on Instagram who say all the right things so the women can. Pander. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I be looking at that and I be like, bruh. Who do you like, think is the worst one? Um, I don't, it's, I think it's a collection of them. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really know a lot of people by name, so mm -hmm. let me say that. Okay. Um, but when I see them, I be like, bro, that's that's BS and I can see it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Simp. I'm with you. I can see it. You mm -hmm. know, now that I don't like. It's a whole collection of that. Yeah, it's it's men that do it to women. It's women that they, they call pick me's that do yeah. it, that'll say mm -hmm. the things that they yeah. think men want to hear. Mm -hmm. it's like, a bunch I, of I heard this one dude say something one time, not oh, to get all shit. topic. He was just saying, he was like, uh, you want you want your woman, you asking her to uh Watch you grow. Are you you ask them to have time with you. What you really saying is you don't know what you want, and women need you. I was like, bro, shut up. <laughs> shut up. 
Shut up. Which they need a new feature. Like Shut when that up, meta bro. shit come, yeah. you could just steal a nigga through the yeah, phone. I, just, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that. And steal I, I think your that dumb ass through the phone. As a man, as a black man who grew up, you know, just in poverty, I've never seen a healthy relationship between a black man and a woman. So I didn't, personally speaking, I didn't know how that interaction was supposed to go. Mm-hmm. True. You know what I'm saying? Personally speaking, I didn't know now, I did have my right mind that you don't just curse women out, but everybody around me was labeling women a certain way, and then the women were taking hold and labeling themselves a certain way. But the emotional and the communication component, I never saw it until I got older. Mm-hmm. So I personally had to learn how to communicate with women. True. Mm-hmm. Saying. I had to learn that. I and it started could. with yeah. my daughter because she, she pushed another side of me out. Like, whoa, I got to be gentle right here. I got to be, I got to communicate my feelings and this ain't something I even know how to do. Mm -hmm. So my daughter, she forced another version of me out and then the first person that got that was her mom. I had to learn, okay, okay, she tripping right now. Well, maybe she ain't tripping. Let me just see her perspective right Mm -hmm. quick. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I had to learn that communication barrier from my little one. And I think as black men, once we start learning a little bit more of how to communicate. Amen. That, that maybe part. she ain't tripping is pretty deep. Yeah, yeah. maybe she that ain't part. So That was maybe me serious. Tripping. Like, well, maybe she ain't. Prime example. So when I first had my, when she first had my little one, I moved to the A because I was building the Falcon Stadium. And so she was pregnant. I'm she, she was pregnant. And so she used to be wigging out. And I used to always be like, yo, why are you tripping? I'm grinding. And then a friend of mine told me, you've never been pregnant with a human being inside you. And I was like, oh, you're right. So she was like, well, won't you start looking at stuff from her perspective sometime? I was like, but I ain't ever been a pregnant woman. So I don't know that. So she told me, that's what you need to learn. Yeah. So that's it, why we got shut the fuck up. That's why we got, so I started shutting up. We have a machine that we can hook up to you for you to understand what it kind of feels like. I don't like. want that. Okay. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> These motherfuckers found out. No, no, no. I they found I, out. I, I don't want no to that. I would just rather sit back and learn and shut up and then play it from perspective. So I think mm-hmm. if we learn that as men, um, we wouldn't have people saying stuff like dude just said. I yeah. think that it's really, I think that, there's a certain type of man that when he sees a woman getting upset in, immediately he's extremely dismissive and says you're emotional and I don't want to mm-hmm. deal because he doesn't have the tools in which to even un- properly understand yep. what the problem is yep. you know and and I he speaks about one particular type of woman I don't know the woman he's fucking talking about mm. like I think that every man in this room can say after having spent a lot of time with me I'm a pretty logical woman. Like, you know, yeah. I'm, I I operate from logic. Mm. I'm not overly emotional. I don't yell. I don't scream. I, I don't fly off the handle. Those, I can't say any of those things. <laughs> I can't say any of those things. Why? Because how you are with us and how you are with your romantic that partner. Is a thousand. I was going to say that, but I didn't want to sound like the asshole. You with me, Yo, you dog, seem logical. If a nigga starts yell, giving you good dick, some of that logic goes out the window. I am still waiting for Sometimes that Sometimes when you in the market. <laughs> we, know, we know that too. Well, that's not, <laughs> you've been in a sorry, relationship, sorry, 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 sorry. In a relationship yeah. where yeah. your logic has gone out the window. I think all of us have. Even as men, we are labeled to be the more logical of the two genders. I've been in situations where my logic is gone out the window. You taking 1, penitentiary chances, penitentiary chances on a chick. What I'm saying is, is that after a certain amount of growth, mm-hmm. you just you just react differently. You you just you, I agree beca- that. you become that person, I agree and that. that is just the decision that you have made. And he is classifying women as if we're just one complete homogenous group no, that stupid. act the exact same way and he, he kids he's not speaking for me he's not speaking for the lion's share of women that I know and that's what really irritates me is that that is just like the go-to explanation of how to handle women and that's he's so wrong mm. he's so wrong and it just it bothers me it takes it takes somebody taking a step back and thinking to themselves, maybe I don't have the tools in order to understand Facts. what this person is actually saying, and checking yourself, which yep. you said. And I think that that is a well, fantastic that's, that's a response. Or I might just be too, too unself. I mean, too selfish to even care to hear it. Mm-hmm. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, if we can immediately just dismiss it to yo, oh, 
She emotional. She bugging. I think that's what a lot of us. Um, that's unselfish. Because that's a. Because I mean, that's selfish. Yeah. It's, it's selfish. A, a lack of accountability. It's selfish, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's what a lot of men live at. In the. Oh, okay, man. She tripping. Again, because it's we easy. haven't. We haven't. It's, it's, easy. Easy. it's easy. It's easy to be dismissive than to confront it because now we're talking about now having. The hard conversations, mm -hmm. and most men don't be don't comfortable. Yep. But in you're conversing. Also, but you're also confronting your own deficiency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're not. You're, not, you're, you're most, not and most proficient uh, and, in communication. And, and I will not. And I, will, and I won't even say that about just men. Yeah, I will say adults. that about people. Yes, a true. lot of people do not like to be confronted with their deficiencies, true. and when you are confronted with that, you. True. Yep. You have defense. a defense. You don't want to hear yeah. it. It could be two men. Offensive and defensive. It could be yeah. two men, yo. It mm -hmm. could be two men. They don't got to be opposite genders. You could have two men and they can't really communicate. get to a place where they can effectively communicate. So one will be dismissive. You know what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. because they don't want that confrontation. Mm -hmm. So that's been something I've been studying a lot um, just because Stop I speak a lot. Hmm? Hmm? Stop having chemistry. <laughs> uh, just because I speak a lot and I'm always <laughs> talking. I've I've worked on communication a lot, and the best the best art of communication is listening. It's the best tool you can have. Um, so for me, that's that's been heavy with me just learning how to communicate, learning how to use certain words, even the demeanor. And sometimes, you know, the the, the classic saying is not what you say is how you say it. Mm -hmm. So checking my tone, even when I that's, that's the one with that my I dog, that's that's one. checking this that tone, decade. like it's saying it's heavy. <laughs> you do. So again, I'm gonna use. No, I'm you I'll use my daughter's mom for example. If I know me and her, like so maybe like two weeks ago. Um, we had to have, we was going to have a conversation. And I said, all right, like, I know this is going to be a touchy conversation. Let me check myself before I go in. Because we had had a little disagreement on the phone and I was headed to the house um, to, to pick my daughter up. And I said, and I stopped in the car and I said, all right, let me just say this prayer right quick. Because prayer. I felt the tension on the phone. You already know. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now, we don't curse each other out or none of that. But as a man and as a woman, mm -hmm. you know when it mm -hmm. done got a little tense. You know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right. So I, before I went to the house, I said, God, just give me the strength to not say nothing and speak when you need me to speak. And say what needs to be said in the right tone. Mm -hmm. That tone is important. The tone. It is. Because mm -hmm. I'm aggressive. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so I went in the you house. You might not even mean it that yeah, way. Yeah, and you don't. So I went just, in the house. The first thing I did to neutralize the situation, I took our trash out. No, nah, I went bought food. That's first thing I, I did. I, 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 bought food. Trash, yeah. I took the trash out. I bought food. I bought food. <laughs> I bought food. Food, women greedy as fuck, my nigga. <laughs> food wins, bro. Food wins. I'm telling you, food, food does win. win. It food does win. Does, 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 I'm, ser I'm not joking. I'm serious. It sounded funny, but I would have stopped. I, I know that she likes X. Right. Mm. I would have got X plus some. Strawberries right, right, and some right, motherfucking right, You right, like fruit? I'm a water, right, watermelon right, Your ass right. drowning is watermelon <laughs> Like I'm dead ass I would've stopped And bought some That is clutch though I just took the trash out I'd've pulled up with 12s In the spin <laughs> <laughs> trunk Blasted some Inductuation Bitches in my whole chair Banging on the door I got somewhere to be Now my question for you Trap is How far was the garbage That you had to take out? Was it outside? Was it downstairs? Nah so the crib had has so it's so in Atlanta stunt. houses are kind of crazy. They have uh so the house is upstairs, then they have the basement downstairs. So I walked up, I was like, What's good? How you doing? How you feeling? She was like, I'm good. You know, she was ready for it. <laughs> she was ready for it. They be ready for she it. Was ready for they it. be ready for and it. I saw she was equipped. So I was like, Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Went to the kit, but she had cooked. So I went to the kitchen. So I know the trash overflowing. Mm. Women don't like taking the trash out. Mm -hmm. I like bet. Let me go take the trash out. I went to the trash and I, I kind of checked the temperature. I'm like, ah, I bet she with the smoke right now. Mm. I don't want to be with the smoke. Boom. So I just threw the trash. So the way it is, it's the deck and the garbage can is downstairs. So I threw the trash. It went into the garbage pen. And I was like, all right, we ready. I know what the tone is right here. Boom. I know it's up. So I was like, look, the conversation we was having on the phone, maybe I went at the conversation a bit wrong. Accountability. I, right I understand there. what you're saying. Accountability. I understand what you're saying. Here's my perspective on it. Let's talk about it because the goal for us is to be on the same accord. That's my biggest goal. So let me hear it. Let's hear it again in front of each other. Mm. 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 All I'm saying is we didn't just have to. I'm like, yep, you're right. Listen, it's okay. We was good. 
We was good. That's what she good. said. You're really good she was at like, defusing all I'm saying a bomb. Is, I just wanted you to hear from. I was like, bet it's cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Lose the fight to win the war. You feel me? I just went. I went into it as I don't want smoke. Yeah. Because that's one relationship that I've always said, this one relationship that is not an 18-year relationship. This is a relationship for the rest of my life. So I got to make sure that this is the best relationship I got. Now he's about to cry. <laughs> he's about to cry I'm with him. <laughs> that shit is real. That shit is real so, shit. Just, it's, real. it's the most important relationship. We I hate people say that 18-year shit. Nah, we, 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 we the oh brother for the rest of our life. And I moved you from New Orleans to Atlanta. I ain't get you out here for us to be tripping. Mm. When it comes to when it comes to conflict, what people need to realize is that you know how important to you is your anger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. And I've been in situations where my anger meant everything to me. Like I just I was so committed to to holding on to my anger. Mm. And in hindsight, it was it was for completely selfish reasons, yeah. mm-hmm. immaturity, whatever the case was, and it just with that line of thinking, it just kind of allows it to kind of dissipate, yeah. you know? And when you approach a situation that is potentially like a situation of conflict, you just have to think to yourself, how important is my anger? Is it more important than this than the person mm-hmm. that I'm in the situation with? Mm-hmm. And if it's not, then, you know, you kind of just lay it out on the table. And my favorite saying is just meet me in the middle of the carpet. Yeah, You know what it. I mean? Just meet me in the middle. And from that point, we're, prob- we're probably going to sort this out, Yeah, you know? Um, I, every t- wait, go ahead. I don't understand that because I deal with somebody that's like that, right? Mm. And, and, that's like um, what they just angry and they mm. won't and they, they hold won't on release to the it. anger. And it's yeah. like, yo, dog, what good comes from you? Therapy angry? She sounds no, like said, she needs therapy. I, I didn't say it was a female. But I'm oh, okay. just saying, <laughs> um, what good comes from the anger? Yeah, like it's not about what a dude that's always angry. It's not about resolution. And that's what I think it should be about resolution. Yeah. And if you if you mad, I don't give a fuck what somebody says to you. I don't care. Somebody come to you with a million dollars. You're like, my fucker, one point five would have been better. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's like, dog, right. it's nothing you could do to stop well, somebody then, else at, from being at angry. That so point, at, that, at that at that point, anger anger is just like the it's it's the surface emotion. Mm-hmm. There's other shit there's that's behind that. Mm-hmm. You there's know what I mean? Exactly. Sure. And there's like there's a lot more behind the surface of anger. But you know. If you're not that, how do I say this? Um, you can't fix somebody who's like that. There you go. That's and that's not there your you that's not your job to fix or, them or your burden to bear. It's Unfortunately, not. sometimes you're stuck dealing with people that have those characteristics, and you just be fucked. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's almost like, yo, do I go to jail or do I just throw my hands up and walk away from the situation? Because they'll put you in jail. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like literally and figuratively, they'll put you in jail, and you you got to kind of. Uh, do what's best for you to, to, to rid yourself of that situation. The sad it's part about it is that a lot of times we become we're dismissive because we try to avoid a problem or sure. we're not in control of our true, so. anger, right? So we know in our minds, like, this may go this way. Mm-hmm. I may blow up, so I'm going to try to avoid it. But that's just also, that's just an excuse. It you is. Gotta, it you gotta, is. You gotta, I disagree. You gotta, I disagree. I think it's no. when you're not equipped. I think I think you got to assess the situation, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think that everything that you said about your situation yep. is dope. It's fly. Mm-hmm. You know what makes it flyer? That your baby's mom sat there. My daughter's her, mom. Daughter. Your daughter's mother sat there, assessed what you said, yep. and jumped on that page. 100%. If she would have still been with the smoke. I would have had to adjust it again. Bruh. Yep. Or sometimes it's, it's with a dude. You could be having trying to have conflict resolution, re- resolution pardon me, mm-hmm. with a dude. Yo, bro, we got off on the wrong foot, blah, blah, blah. He just don't And he like, nigga, he so what, switch. nigga? We can stay he on that smoke. foot, nigga. Yeah. What's yeah. up, nigga? I got 10 feet, you nigga. And now sometime. what you gonna do? Yeah, you gotta exit. You now do. what you gonna do? You gotta leave. And so in certain situations, you kind of gotta withdraw mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. bridge yourself no, of yeah. the situation yep. because it it's only gonna always go gonna way. go one way. Yeah, sometimes you know what withdrawing is winning. Yes. Or I don't say winning, but to keep your sanity, you gotta kind of get out of some of these situations. So I was talking to Eric Thomas one day. We was talking. He said something that was dope to me. He said, sometimes your truth don't matter. At all. The truth. Not your yeah, truth. The, tr- yeah, the don't actual matter. truth. It don't don't matter. Matter. I got so truth. exhausted by everybody talking about your truth, yeah. my truth. I was yeah. like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, he was like, that don't always matter because mm. what happens is we'll be like, I'm just telling you the truth. But did that move the needle? Mm. Did it? Mm. What did it do? Did you, what did it impact? What did it impact? You said your truth, but did it move it? Did it... 
you now you got the truth off your yeah. chest, but she still now, screw facing you. You're not yeah, gonna fuck you with Yeah, you alter the relationship. <laughs> so he was saying that in the in the mentorship. I was like, damn, that's heavy because we have a tendency of saying, I'm just keeping it real. You you don't want to hear the real. You don't want to hear the truth. But if the truth ain't moving the needle, what do does it, it does it really matter? What and I think that was you? profound when he when he said that to me. Well, we said that in a group um, because we always a lot of times we want the truth to be said and then we think well because i said the truth we're not thinking about the ramifications or the repercussions behind us saying that so i but think truth, that was a that was a great the, per, that was the a great truth matters to me yeah the truth do matter truth but truth matters to me but it, it, the truth is looked at differently from each eyes I, I disagree with that too. It's subjective. I hate that. The truth, I hate that. Yeah, unless you have unless you have a camera recording in the house. I don't think the truth show, is subjective. I it hate. Is. I do agree with that because sometimes yeah. I'll be like, well, if she if we having a hard time wrapping our heads around whatever the subject is here, the, the truth is about this. It's really convoluted. That's true. The truth <laughs> is about is, to really fuck you think this so? up. Yeah. So to, I would like to hear your. Let's talk about it. The, the My, truth be loaded. It it's, be, it's loaded. See, see the truth. The is truth loaded. be loaded it's with loaded. a lot. I think niggas loaded. Oh, no. I think we could look at the same thing, mm -hmm. right? So I could mistakenly kick trap foot. Mm -hmm. I kicked his foot. That's the truth. Now people will start taking what they think it means, turning it into something else. And that's why I think the your truth come in, my truth. You could be like, yo, dog, you kicked my foot because of X or because of Y. It might be totally falsehood, but that's your truth. In a certain scenario, I see that. You get what I'm saying? So to me, I don't like the his truth, her truth, my truth, your truth. I think that we should be able to look at the same exact thing and we could just, it's factual stuff there. But that's not the difference is this though. Because feelings but don't equal facts but here's to the me. Thing. That's the one truth, of my feelings don't have So the truth is absolute, mm -hmm. true. but perspectives is different. Mm -hmm. That's, that's where exactly. it comes in at. And that's feelings. True, truth is absolute. True. Like the sky is blue. Mm-hmm. Perspective on why the sky is blue Could be now different. changes the conversation. That is true. I agree with it. But, facts but don't. But it's not based in fact. Facts don't no, have feelings. That's right. and, based in and, fact. and Neil deGrasse says the sky is not blue. He did say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I hate talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> fact, facts don't have feelings, but at the same time, unless you have something there. Like I said, a camera or something, everybody gonna, I'm telling you. And because even with the camera, have, a nigga perceive something they ain't too. feelings and. don't have to be based on facts. Mm. No, mm. Fact. and that's, that's my good. point. Shit, facts, that's feelings oh, don't damn, equal nigga, facts. Feelings don't equal facts. Is that so a I, silence song? We can't never argue your feelings. <laughs> we can't never debate your feelings because I can never tell you that your feelings are wrong. And that's, but and that's exactly why, for me, in a lot of instances, the truth don't matter. Because we're not even talking about what's absolute in this. We're talking about your perspective on whatever this is, yeah. yeah, and 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 you, but to me, so you, but you feel like a person, is, if it happens, and we have the facts, we should all be on the same page and discuss that. We should be happened. able to acknowledge the facts. First. Okay, now first, okay, all right, and then we could jump off into other stuff because, again, let me give you an example. Joe could mm -hmm. feel like I hate his guts. Y'all ever seen? Y'all seen the meme where um, somebody holding a gift behind their back? A gift. Like a teddy bear oh, or some gift, shit gift. Oh, yeah, behind yeah, their yeah, back, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And then somebody got a bigger gift behind their back or somebody got a knife behind their back. You could feel like I hate your guts. I could be coming to talk to you about a play that I got that we're we going to make $3 million off. You could think I'm coming to kill you. You going to act on what your truth is. That's your feelings. You could pull out a gun and be like, yo, I thought when he went behind his back, he was going to shoot me. Nigga, I had a gift for you. That's your truth. That's a fact to you. You get what I'm saying? But it's totally false. And a lot of times we act on what we think our truth is. And well, I don't like that. I, I think that's what perspective I think that lesson comes exactly. in. Exactly. Yeah, you're I think talking the about truth. Yeah. Perspective. Yeah. You're talking about perspective. People, People stand in their perspective that you never heard. Um, and call it truth. What they, what they, Which is called? two different things. Exactly. It is. Uh -huh. that's, that's, why, is that's, reality. Why, that's why I couldn't stand when it, your truth, my truth. I'm like, no, it. there is the truth One and truth. then your perception of it yes. and my perception of it. That's what it is. But then how do we get down to the truth? It's only one truth. There's only the truth well, is absolute. It's only one truth. Yeah, but like, like, like Flip is saying, without a third party, you're gonna tell your exactly. version of the truth. That's, That's true. It. You're gonna tell your version of the truth with the perspectives put on it. That's and it. now we got two different versions here's, here's, of it. And we'll and never get the actual truth. Example. We can all see a car accident happen, and everybody here will have a different perception on how and why it happened. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. So your perception the truth is your is reality. That there was an mm -hmm. accident. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. The truth yeah. is, That's there it. was an accident. That's it. 
Period. That's it. That cannot be denied. Mm -hmm. But True. when you start asking everybody what happened, exactly. now we get mm -hmm. 10 different stories. True. Yeah, Indeed. Thanks. You feel me? Indeed. One of the things I like, Joe, was um, I was listening to something you said. It was a while back when you said, I like seeing y'all fail. I was well, like, that, that right there. immediately I understood it. I was like, I know why he's saying this. In my mind, but I had a perspective because I don't know exactly what he mean. Y'all think it's easy to get in this game. Y'all not consistent. And so when you quit, you're going to have a million reasons of why this didn't work. But for me, that make more room for me that's because great. that's more y'all yes. quitting. Move. And for me, I saw it. But when I look at the comments, I'm like, oh, they don't get it. But what happens is their perspective of what he said is completely different. Completely different. You know what I'm saying? So That's when true. I even when I heard, I was like, "Oh, I get it. I know what that means." You know what's so funny about that? You just gave me a new because I ain't like when he said that. Mm. I didn't like when he said it, mm. but now that you're saying that, it makes me look at it in a different light. And I don't know if that's why he you said. Ain't it. Like, well, who said? Joseph? I don't even know if that's like why he said, said it. But this for me, said. that's what it meant. Really? I ain't like it meant it. all y'all won't get in the podcast. All y'all won't get in this game. Y'all think it's quick money. Quick money. You think it's easy. You don't want to put you in don't the understand. You thought it was me and my team sitting here. Eight, ten hours a day. A we respect. recording. This is what we live. This is what we do. You trying to do this and have a part time job. You trying to do mm. this and go out. You ain't committed. Yeah, y'all trying to do it and still have a life. No, y'all yes. trying to do it and get and get rich quick. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Now. And so y'all, when y'all quit, that's your stance. That make that when makes you quit, sense. you won't tell everybody podcast and phony. There's no money in it. Yeah, yada right. yada yada. So when you quit, you. when you quit and you fail. That makes more room for me. That's a deal that you probably would have stumbled on that you will no longer get because you ain't consistent enough mm -hmm. and now I can leverage it. And because you don't know the game, now you devaluing everybody. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when I heard that, that's what I got from it. Yeah. But you know that's because that's it's one of them things like if you know, you know. Mm, like the true. people in the comments like, oh, what do you mean? You hating ass nigga? Right. But it's not my place to even explain it to y'all. Yeah. Like, yeah. when you get there, if this is where you're going, you'll get it. <laughs> yeah, I still love it. That, that little one line that was a caused a frenzy. Nah, that was a, did, did. I'm not going to lie. I it found did. myself every day going watch it the, stung. Going watch no, the it comments stung a lot of to people. see how people was navigating through Every it. podcast space I went to, they brought that shit right up. Yo, I, when you said I love nigga, yeah. damn. Yeah, yeah, I got that. That no, was amazing. Musicians good too. Mm. Music people, anybody, good too. sports yeah. athletes, yeah. anybody yeah. that yeah. put in the work. If I'm a boxer, nigga, I'm up at five in the morning. I'm jogging right. the four and five, six miles. I'm doing all the shit. I'm not going to the club. I'm not going to the party. Fact. So when you fail, I I'm kind of happy that you fail because you really ain't put forth the effort mm -hmm. to be successful. Kobe said, "Why That's am I passing the him ball the to ball? these niggas when these niggas leave the gym at? They don't work out like mm. me. They leave the gym at three oh one. They don't train like me. They don't think like me. They you don't, don't want it like me. They don't, yeah, they don't. That's what really y'all don't want it. You don't get to get the same shot as as me. As me. Ooh, that's big. You, you know? don't get. We don't I get like the same that. shot. That makes sense. I like that. We ain't doing the same work. I like that. that makes sense. I just told. I miss Kobe so much. Nah, we was out eating last night, bro. I think his greatness would have been just unparalleled. And he was on a different level. And he was at a B. Yeah. Mm. So with that yeah, work ethic that plus that yeah. spanky, but dog, Ooh. everything that he's saying, he's such a savant. Like he was, he was, he was a uh, champion in women's basketball and just mm -hmm. trying to get that to a different level. And yeah. today, a lot of athletes seem to be into that different space. Yeah. There's the clip going around where he was like, "Yo, I hate AAU basketball. I want that shit to be over and done with." And he explained, "Really? Mm. Yes. I ain't see that. I, I gotta go check that oh, out. I ain't see that. While y'all talk, I'll find it. But yeah. he was like, AAU basketball." is rewarding just showmanship and people are going out there and learning how to be the Harlem Globetrotters. Nobody is really paying attention to fundamentals. Fundamentals not getting you in a game. And I grew up in Europe, but fortunately. So what they still on fundamentals out there. Mm -hmm. Right. So when I come over here and everybody is fancy this, this and that, that's not how basketball is supposed to be played. So if mm -hmm. the game is to evolve, you have to just always have the fundamentals. Of course, he said a lot better than me. I got the. I, have, I don't you have. Clip, I have the actual. I, I, have what he, I have the quote though. I can. Oh, argue ahead, that. Ahead. That's dope though. Go ahead. He said, "I hate it because it doesn't teach our players how to play the right way, how to, <clears throat> excuse me, how to think the game, how to play in combinations of threes. I think everything is a reward system. I think the coaches who are teaching the game are getting rewarded in one fashion or another. It's just a showcase. I think it's absolutely horrible for the game. AAU basketball is just killing us." There's so many games being played without a concept of how to play them. Everything is off the ball and how to beat your man off the ball. There's no concept of playing two-man game or three-man combinations. That concept is a lost art. Mm, that's big. That's true. Mm. That's big. That's and he keeps going. He's like, I think we're doing a tremendous disservice to our young basketball players right now. 
that's something that definitely needs to be fixed and it's going to definitely be one of the things that I focus on. Hey, can you send me that? Mm. Yeah. I like that. And I'll find the uh, yeah. video. Yeah. 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 I like that. So we was out eating last night, me and Jose. So Jose be riding with me. And um, there's really a reason why I like everybody on my team. I feel like we building it from the ground up, but everybody's understanding of the grind is different. Everybody don't understand what it's going to take for us to win a championship. Fact. Even though I paint the vision to everybody, yo, here's the vision. This is what we doing, and if you not willing to put this kind of work in, yo, I'm going to be real with you. I got love for you, but you don't need to be here. Mm -hmm. You holding up somebody else's spot. Mm -hmm. And so I take Jose with me all the time because I, and I, always, I always give him his flowers for this because he worked with me for 18 months without me even paying him. Like, trap, I'm like, I got you, don't even trip. Trap, nope, I got you. Man, Jose, I need to shoot something. Nope, I got you, but let me pay you something. Nope, it's, I should just cash app him on GP. And so he understands the grind. So then when I'm like, Jose, this is what I need you to do on the team. Boom, let's put your payroll together. Boom, let's grow. But Jose, you got to move the needle. It's cool to move the needle when you're trying to get here, but now that you're here, now that you're you, here, you gotta move we the needle. have to move this needle. We got to move the yes. needle. So now Jose travels with me everywhere, and Jose's favorite saying is, bro, I got an outward trap. Because he, he working. He up at 3 o'clock in the morning. He doing this. He doing that. He moving around. He going to these interviews. He doing this. He moving, he moving the needle, so I got to move the needle with him. So we had a conversation last night. We was at dinner because the last couple weeks been crazy. We, we went on tour with E.T., Boom, we went into the prisons. That's something I love. Mm -hmm. Going into the prisons because I feel like nobody else can't touch them like me. Mm -hmm. Boom, going into the youth detention centers. Boom, we do the NFL plays just now. We got like three more teams rocking with us now. So I sit down with Jose and I say, say, bro, we, not, we went to Rikers Island. And I say, Jose, listen, the people you talk to right now, the people you communicating with right now, the people you associating with right now, you got to check them at the door. We moving the needle. The needle is being moved, and it's, it ain't moving like incrementally. It's moving drastically right now. Cause we put in the work. I'm up. We'll finish doing something. I'm up at twelve o'clock. You know, the show went from in the business, in the investing, it went from one nineteen to thirty four in a week. And all I did was go live every day and tell everybody, "Yo, go hit this, go do that, mm -hmm. go do that." Boom, we see it moving. And so I'm like, you got to check everything we doing at the door because if we going to win championships, we got to have a triangle offense. So he was like, say less. What you mean check them at the door? So meaning, so if we, if we move in a certain way, then anybody who can cause any type of downfall to what we doing, they're a liability, not just to you, but to me. Because yes. if we moving as a unit right now, if you mess up, I gotta, I'm gonna gotta come in that yeah, wall yeah, and yeah, save yeah. you. Right. Mm -hmm. So don't put me in a bad situation, even though I'm the face of it, I don't get here alone. Even mm -hmm. though people just see trap, but now on my show, I'm always saying, yo, Jose on it is, I give everybody their credit because I don't want people to think it's just me. Mm -hmm. I'm just the face, right? I'm the energy. But there's people behind me that's putting in the work. So I told him, like, bro, you got to check. Now it's important for us to check the people at the door. And the reason why I said that, because while we was on tour, after we finished the five days with E.T., he had a, he had a conversation with me, me, Jose. And he said, your talent will get you on the stage, but your character will take you off the stage. Mm. Always check your character. And so that was like, all right, bet. And then right after we say that, mm. stuff start, we start hitting. Boom, 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 boom. And I just had to have a conversation with somebody who always on the road with me because I'm not going to babysit you. Like, bro, we're going to go to the hotel. I'm not about to check and see where you at and what you're doing. I'm going to trust that you making the right decision while because I'm chilling. Like, I ain't trying. When we go out of town, I'm not going to lie. I'm not 10 o'clock. If we not eating together, man, I'm in the room. I don't got a problem with being in the room. I'm, I'm in my community. I'm Jose. I'll send him something at 3 o'clock in the morning. Bro, man, look what Joe and them doing. Look at Joe and them Patreon, bro. Look at Joe and them show. Look at them clips they're putting out. Jose, we got to add a woman to what we doing to take us to another level. Jose, look at this. Look at these new. I'm sending my ad team. I'm sending my graphic guy. Look, look what's changing. So I'm always paying attention to how the game evolving. And if you ain't putting you in that to. kind of work ethic... To. You then to. you don't need to be here. But also, if you're not accountable for your character while we not together, I can't let you be the weak link that make us fall. Because mm -hmm. we working too hard to get here. Trundy. Yeah, that's why I fire niggas fast. That's that exactly, exactly. Because 
I can't explain to everybody just how much is on the line. Yeah. I could tell you what's important and how to move. Like that tour shit you said, I got chills yeah. when you start talking about tour. Because tour is where it happens Half, yep. for me. Yeah. Uh, that's an easy when, place for shit to go left. Mm. That's where it's, No, that's where it's going to go left. Yeah. It's going to. If, if people are not implementing the, like the 10 that. p.m. curfew. I like that. Uh, and even then, niggas like is in separate rooms. Thank you for that. Calling different women, mm. different people. You need your drugs. You having people come meet up. Some of your friends is loud in this hallway of the Four Seasons. Like it's that. just a lot. A lot going on. Some of y'all don't know how to uh, handle conflict resolution with the dude in the elevator or the dude that's at the venue. Some or, of y'all treat root, people like shit. Person. Like, you could jam this whole operation up with one mistake on that road. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. It's the scariest shit in the universe. I appreciate that, because we were supposed to go on tour. So I had an eight-city tour lined up. And I said, man, we ain't ready yet. And I stopped it. Same. Something just told me, said, we not ready yet. And then... Immediately the next week, Eric Thomas hit me. He like, Trap, I want you to come on tour with me. That was perfect for me because now instead of me having to figure it out, I was able to go be a number two on a big a big stage and see the operation. Mm -hmm. Okay, bet. E.T., after he perform, he going to make sure he speak to everybody. Boom, he back in the room with his wife and kids. We going to go eat. Boom, he back in. That's All right, it. cool. I'm liking this. I see what's going on. We get up in the morning. We go work out. I'm like, E, I'm about to go. He like, nope, I ain't going. Oh, yeah, the nigga that's waking up late. Yeah. Get him out of here. Yeah. Like, the nigga that can't be in lobby at call time. Yeah. This will be your last time on the road. Yeah. Strict ship on that road. Yeah. On that yeah. road. So I'm glad you said that just now because that was something for me to pay attention to. But also me just being with E.T., I was like, oh, okay, I wasn't ready. Because while I'm, I would have been in the thing, I would have been like, yeah, man, y'all go do y'all thing. I ain't tripping. Just don't get no trouble, bro. Knowing now, no, there's a, nah, curfew, fam. Mm. We got to be, we going to eat together. Ain't no such thing as I'm going to do my own thing. Nah, bro, we together. It makes sense. We together. We ain't no, I'm going, no, together. we together. Fam. We together. eating together. We sleeping together. We kicking. So I had to learn that. And so by you saying that, like, yo, that's when it's going to happen. That now puts me in a mindset of, okay, bro, like we building this company the way we building it. There's more infrastructure I got to have in place. So, man, thank you for that alley no. right there. For yeah, sure. That makes sense. That's a fact. You fuck around not getting no trouble, but you went to sleep at 3.30 in the morning because you mm -hmm. had shorty in your room. Mm -hmm. Now, all day you moving around Slow. mad sluggish because yep. you sleepy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dog, all we went out there and killed. It was an amazing show, and now everybody go their separate ways. One nigga in the crowd bagging a bitch that he think is one age. She told him she really a different mm -hmm. age. Or now niggas is too drunk because we celebrating, and now you done went back to the hotel, threw up all in the hallway. The room is a mess. Charges out the ass. And you do that in 20 cities and nobody made money now. Mm. Mm. Now we just did that for nothing. Mm. That's big. Congrats. <laughs> Look what you won yourself. Or no, mm. you, you fucked with the underage chick and oh no! Now it's over. It's Joe Button. Operations over. No, it's Joe Button. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's you. Goodbye. It's Joe Button. I ain't. I'm good. Night. Nigga, I don't even know that girl. I never seen that girl in my life. But one of your employees did it. Y'all go to the club and some niggas get jumped on. And I say it all the time, right? Like, uh, me, myself, Parks, Corey, Ice. Sometimes, like, I got crew that was there for the Chitlin Circuit. Word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I got crew mm -hmm. that yo ain't no money. Pack a bag, need this two week run. I got crew that we done went from Edgewater to LA in the suburban. Word. Like, we done been through it. So now that the work has been put in and the tours look a little different, where it's five star restaurants, it's five star hotels, the girls look better, the service, the treatment is better. Don't come over here and take all my life's work for granted. Mmm. Mm. I like that, Joe. That's yeah, true. No, nah, don't, don't, don't. It ain't, shit wasn't always like this. Mm -mm. And as someone who was also there, I don't, don't take my life for granted either. <laughs> right. No, you know it's your saying? life too. Yeah, 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 yeah no, no, You work You committed. You, you committed. Yeah. Yeah. You was there. Yeah. Hell, you yeah. build the shit. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Nah, that's big. That makes sense. I pre yeah, that was, we that in the fourth season. Nigga won't complain about uh, sleeping in a double with somebody. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've never seen a double like this. <laughs> <laughs> Your double got a kitchen, nigga. We was in the Cano Lodges, Whoa, roaches. Facts. It was tough out there. Facts. Little mold around the uh, yeah. the towel. Hey, they the they, towel they, the they didn't have the second half. He can't tell me. Like it's about to be crazy out here. <laughs>
the fuck? Boy. That tour, that tour shit, boy. No, I think I, he I didn't want that. us to go on the road so bad. He didn't want us to go out so bad. He do, but mm-hmm. fuck out of here, fuck out of here. Uh-uh. Man, right so you're not doing a road, no more. I w- I would like to reimagine it. Explain that to me. I can't write that on air. Okay. I'll talk to you about okay. it behind the scenes. Okay, okay. I do not want to do the... Traditional. The, regular shit. Yeah, 15, 20 city. Okay. Go out there. I don't I don't want to do that. Okay. I want to pick five to six, make five, six major spots and do them differently. Mm. I don't want to do what everybody's doing. Yeah. Everybody out there has to revamp their live show. Not y'all, because all y'all niggas is cooking right now. But even what y'all are doing to uh, me is a revamped version of things. Mm-hmm. It's not. Y'all shit look almost like, every time I see y'all niggas, it look like some WWE shit without the lights. Yeah. <laughs> like, you niggas get out there, hey, bring it, man, hey, we <laughs> it. Like, it's, it's a real, y'all are curating that experience. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. it just needs, what the fuck am I hearing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Okay. <laughs> That sounds nice. Yeah, it just needs to be different. Or, right, like all us in New York. And I keep going to pop up in these places, these fucking venues, and the owners come kicking to me, bringing drinks. Like, yo, love to get you out of here. And I'm like, man, it wouldn't hurt to just come out here real quick. Two shows Friday night, two shows Saturday night. I just want to do some wild shit. I might only do shit niggas could drive to real quick. Mm. Like, I just want to do something wild different. and yeah. different. Yeah, yeah. And I'm charging out the wazoo when it happened. Mm. Up, 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 up. Because that set the tone for everybody, too. As you, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of like my idea on it. So for me, I want to do different cities, but I just want to create a different, because one, like, finances is boring. Yeah. Right? And yeah. you got to love it. It's super boring unless you love it. So for me, my mindset was always... Let me bring something else to it, the excitement, the energy. Y'all don't make it sound boring, though. I got yeah, so that, to So that's, that, for me, that that's was hard. my whole don't. goal behind it. Like, that's let right. me put my energy. You know, I've been from the street, so let me put my twists on it. Let me, you know, give that energy. Let me, let me use metaphors and analogies that people can understand that you can grasp it with. Let me do that to give it a different type of flavor in the field because Dave Ramsey ain't doing that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh... No, Robert Kiyosaki, they ain't doing that. No, they straight up don't do this. I'm like, nah, that ain't how we gonna learn. That is how they kept us out of the game. Mm-hmm. So let me come in. You know, when I went to London with EYL, yo, I come with the go yard duffel bag. I'm um, 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 throw the triple beam out, boom, yes, throw sir. the shirts out the back. Whoa, we we uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and then what we saw, we saw the people just go crazy. Nah, so you. now they like, yup, I need to learn that. I won't do that. And then when you say, yo. Not only am I'm not just motivating you, let me give you some tools to make some money. And I yeah. can show you that I and did And I it. can show you. And I can show you exactly what I did. Put your hand about there if I made you some money. You feel me? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? the end. So I think that's the, for me, I, can, I don't want to speak on them. I'm going to speak for myself. Mm-hmm. For me, that was my, from everything I did, you know, even big trap, we trapping, you know, triple beam. Like, you know, that was the whole thing. Let's turn the word trapper into something different. But then let's turn the word trap house to Wall Street, something different. Mm-hmm. Let's turn this into a different idea. But then let me show street dudes. Let me show shorties in the strip club that, yep, you getting money. But let me show you how to turn this money to some so you can lead a trap. Mm. and do something different. Let me show the person who's working a nine to five, you don't got to retire yet at 65. You can retire yet at 40 because you love the career, but now you ain't a slave to it because you made some money. Mm. You know, you done took your retirement in your own hand. You talk- Ideally, what, what age would everybody here like to retire? I'm retired now. I'm retired now. I do this because I love it. Mm. Damn. You, so at this point, you don't got to work no more? Nope. Oh, yeah, I ain't did yet. <laughs> I'm on the test though. I ain't I'm keeping it real. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. You I'm, know, I told the dudes in the NFL that yesterday. Um, um, ideally, I still got to work. Fifty. Ideally, fifty. Fifty. Because because retirement Nigga, for me that is in a year. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> fifty is three years. But I, what retirement means for me, and that's why I asked him. Like I got one of my homeboys. He don't have to leave the house. He still, but he work harder than me. He damn near called me in the morning. It's like, yo, come on, Art. Let's get up. 
What was more, he, you know, y'all know, I'm a procrastinating king. This nigga be calling my phone at seven in the morning. Yo, dog, yo, dog. This nigga is clearing like 90 a month. Clear, net, 90 a month. From, he don't have to walk outside his door and he got 90 bands coming to him every month. That's retired to me. So, got it. Here, prime example. Like, you might make more money than that. <coughs> or somebody might make more money. Football players make more money than that. They can't not go to work. Right. Basketball mm-hmm. players make more money than that. They can't not go to work. You exactly. can't. You get what I'm saying? When mm-hmm. I say retired, I mean like you don't have to walk, walk out, out your house. door. Unless you, you could serious. go move to Paris tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You could go live on fucking. So even if he's working in the house, you still view that as retirement. No, when I because you don't. He don't have to work. Got it. That's he could retirement. pick up the phone and be like, "Yo, handle that." that. That's the retirement. Send so, me an invoice. So here's my <laughs> thing, and this is why I love this. This is not no. Shining out. So it's so this today, one account we did this today. The other account we did this today. This See? today. Mm-hmm. No, I, that's why I asked you. I said, yo, just, you don't have to leave. I don't have to leave. That that's and retired I ain't to this me. Morning, but get up, go from the hotel, and say, you know what? Let me go. Let me, let me, let me go rock with you them before I leave. I love that you did that. By the way, that's retired. I think that's super fly. What? What the? That he just came over here. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what dope. I did. I was like, yo, man, let's that's go, dope. let's go rock with Joe now, man. Joe always be like, you financial literacy niggas is my niggas. Y'all my new niggas. I, I like y'all real. niggas. I, I, Corey always show me love. It show me love. So I'm dope. like, man, let me just go pull up on Joe now. I don't, and I'm, I ain't want to get on the show. I just like, I'm gonna show him I love. I just yeah, want to yeah, pull yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I was just hey, Patronis, I asked Parks to set that mic up. He didn't even know. I didn't. He didn't even know. I was like, oh shit, that's the shit. That's fly. That's retired to me. That, that, that is, is retired dope. to me. <clears throat> All right. Can everybody else answer that question? Mm. I don't really ever want to retire, but I would like to have the ability to retire in the next 10 years. Because mm. you love music. Yeah. Right. I do what I love. Yeah. I, I'm, right. I'm never right. going to retire. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm not going to say I don't want to. I'm never going to retire. That's called, mm. I, I'd call that soft retirement. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like so you ain't like, necessarily like working that. to feed like your that. family. You're yeah. not necessarily working to make it. ends meet. It's the love meet. for the game. I enjoy yeah. it. Like yeah. I read some I'm in soft retirement. Like, I don't ever feel like work because I'm just yep, blessed. Love that to do it. Yeah. Right. I That's kind of what I was about shit. to say. Like, yeah. yeah. So don't but feel like I do. Work. I do have a plan for myself to get like what y'all are talking about. Right. Mm-hmm. I know you do. Yeah. Like I, I read some shit the other day that said that um, it was like seventy percent of seventy percent of the millionaires mm-hmm. in the United States got to keep working. Lift check they got to work. They got to keep working. Wait, say that again. 70% of what? The millionaires. Yeah, they got to keep working. Are living check Live to check. check to check. Yeah. The millionaires, my nigga. So, so. Because your lifestyle is so expensive. That's it. And your expenses are so high. Like, you might be a multimillionaire, but you got a $27,000 a month mortgage. Yeah. You got six cars. That's, that, that number's disturbing. No, yeah. no, that's, no, that's real talk, That's Joe. real, bro. So that's, that's the meat and potatoes. Yeah. So I always say, I was just saying I created, and I said, uh, poor people live check to check. Rich people live year to year. Wealthy people live generation to generation. That's true. And people always think that the poor people part means lack of income. Mm-mm. I know a bunch of people on paper, they millionaires. But they poor. But they, they live in, they need, they need a five-day challenge. They mm-hmm. need this to work. Because if the minute that stops, yo, it's bad. Bro, this economy shit that's going on now. It's bad. Nigga, six months to have a rich nigga, not rich, but six months to have a millionaire nigga tapped out. That's a fact. If they don't have no money coming in mm-hmm. for six months, these niggas will be on the motherfucking mm-hmm. welfare line. Yep. Check the check. Mm. Niggas that's making it. Check the check. If they didn't have money coming in for three months, fuck six, mm-hmm. you ain't get a check for three months. Yep. Niggas is fucked up. Because the lifestyle, what happens is, Your so lifestyle I call that changed. financial trauma, when you, the lifestyle now, you make the lifestyle equate to the income. The income that's coming mm-hmm. in. Right? No, so I'm never the person to tell a person live below their means because I was homeless and broke before. But what I will say is moderation. I'm trying, yo. Hmm. Right, moderation. Yeah, shit is hard. Like moderation. Like I don't, I don't gotta. <laughs> and I, I know gotta, better in this army. Yeah, bro. I don't gotta. I don't gotta take every trip. Like I went to Africa for thirty days. I'm like, all right, I'm good. I'm, I'm straight for a minute. Yeah, but these jail niggas got more discipline than me. Ten times. Well, jail. Ten times. Jail don't necessarily <laughs> give you discipline. Shh. Like, no, that's false discipline. There's a difference between sitting in a cell because you have to, or cause and being able to maneuver to. around, that's not because you got the ability to do it. Like, jail don't give you discipline. Yo, you still got to self-correct. And I, t- I always make that adjustment. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to sit down for 10 years because I wanted to. Mm-hmm. 
if the minute they'd have said, yo, Trap, you want to leave? I'd have been like, hell yeah, I'm, I'm out this bitch. I had to sit there. That ain't no patience. You're right. You either going to do one or two things, do the 10 years or hang yourself. Mm-hmm. Right. That's it. That ain't no. That ain't no discipline. It's a lot. It's probably a lot harder to be to have freedom and means yep. and exercise and restraint. That's it. That's it. Exercise Ho- restraint from eating. Yep. Um, getting up. You know, getting up late and just living like a a lifestyle like a fucking sloth yep. because you have the money in you the bank that says it. you can do you that. Do yep. Or operating like you're still chasing something That's a fact. after a certain. After a certain amount of, you know, money and prestige or whatever the case is, mm-hmm. people get extraordinarily complacent. That's, a fact. That's true. And I'm never that. That's true. Man, like, I, will, I will wear this stuff every day, all day. I don't worry about what I'm putting on in the morning. I don't worry about looking fly. I ain't get there yet. I go into the closet. Yo, which Wall Street? I'm grabbing one of them. I'm two years from this. <laughs> throw it yeah, on. Me too. I'm two years me from too. this. I'm through it on. Mm-hmm. I throw it on and I don't. One of the things, lifestyle isn't a thing for me. I care more about making sure my daughter's straight than me. I'm okay. I'm going to keep 100. I done put the same cargo pants on a week straight. You're saying your office. daughter like she ain't caked up. Every huh? day I think about that <laughs> shit he showed me over here. Like, that's what my daughter did. Yeah, man. I know you ain't just seen the shit he showed me. And, and look, I wasn't, wasn't going to get phones. up and look. look but I said, phones. no, on he ain't two, about to fuck my head up again. Look, this, see that. Look, look, this account that made shit. this today. This account made this today. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, Yeah, nah. yeah, ain't know what? I'll just thumbs up from over here, nigga. And, it's, and it, yo, oh yeah, market just closed today. So yeah. right now, so you know this is where we at. that's the power. I'm a, That's why I'm, that nigga, my I'm in agreement with you. Yo, I was, I dumped, I just put 250 in that last week. Like, yo, boom, let's go. I need you to make me another million in the next six, seven months. We need to do that. Mm-hmm. So for me, that once you understand, that's why I want everybody. And so people come on, again, I talk about financial trauma. We scared of money because we've only been taught that we make money from how much work we put in. We ain't never learned that we can make more money when we use this and make the money work for us because the money don't never need a break. They don't never need to chill out. Or the little side shit that we learned about how money ain't really, money ain't all that. Yeah, that's bullshit. Fuck out of here. The older I get, well, not the older I get, but today when I be home, I focus on, not the richer. (laughs) Different (laughs) adjectives. What I'm about to say, you know what, I am about to talk about money a little bit, but it's money and time. I be thinking about how much of my dollar is mine and it's depressing. And I think about how much time out of the week is mine. Time equity. Mm -hmm. It's depressing. Time equity. That's it. Now think about the niggas that... Look, this, 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 so stay there, right? Because you're probably right. I don't know how much of your time you devote to what you're doing. Shit. I'm saying I don't know. But it's niggas that go to work 60 hours a week and they can't remotely tell you about the last time they went on a trip. That was me. They can't remotely tell you about... How, they can't buy shit. Nope. My nigga, every dollar is accounted for. Yep. Yo, mm-hmm. one of my peoples told me that she was buying gas, right? On a Thursday, she would fill up a tank because you know, when you swipe your ATM card, it only take a dollar. It hold one dollar. And then the next day, the full amount clears. Mm -hmm. That was routine for her. They stopped that too. That was routine for her. She would put it, she would fill up the tank because she wouldn't have no money to buy gas. So she would fill up the tank and then she knew the next day her check was gonna hit the direct deposit Mm -hmm. and it would populate and then she would be good. My nigga, we don't know what that's like anymore. You get what I'm saying? Like, we don't know what that's like. And these, some of these people working 60, 70 hours, at least with your time, you seeing the fruits of your labor. Your kids are seeing the fruits of your labor. Not saying that I'm not minimalizing your shit at all. I'm just saying that it's people out here going through that that don't got shit, my nigga. They ain't living in despair. You got some promise. You know at 40, 50, you should be, if you not up, up, it's your fault. So that's the power these niggas of financial don't have literacy. It. True. That's the power of financial literacy. So there's financial knowledge. And I, I broke this down when we talked to the NFL. There's financial knowledge, which is understanding that there's money, there's stocks, there's bonds, there's different asset vehicles. There's financial literacy. It's being able to use them. And then there's your financial capability. Means mm. you know how to navigate and know which asset or product is best for which proven situation given situation. So what we have to do is increase our financial capability. Meaning, all right, why do you want the seven eight hundred credit score? Well, trap, we got the eight, we got the seven seventy five credit score, so we was able to get a a credit card with zero percent interest on it. 
we took the credit card, we swiped the credit card to do a down payment on the 18-wheeler. Mm -hmm. We got the 18-wheeler. Because we had 18 months free on the credit card, the 18-wheeler now paid off the credit card mm -hmm. in 18 months. We got a freak 18-wheeler. So it's talking about the, the capacity in which you know how to use money. True. Right? So once we increase that, which is why now I figure like we in a financial revolution because I've never seen as many people from poor, middle class, not just black, but black, white, Spanish, poor, middle class, hardworking people say, you know what? I got to do something else. Shout out to Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I got to do something else. So while everybody is saying, don't get me wrong, they got people scamming. That's just going to be a way of life. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people really out here showing people how to change their life and get money. That's true. And so for me, it is, yo, there's no better place to be than the stock market. For me, <laughs> because I get to bet on the businesses crack you on that build Muffin. America. I'm going to crack you yeah. on Ian Muffin on that. You feel me? Nah, I'm not mad at real estate. They gonna eat your food, nigga. Like I love real they estate gonna, because I feel like there's no day. better, there's no better, there's no watch. better asset class that gives you the tax bracket, the tax breaks like real estate. I love real. Listen, it's not an either or to me. It's nah, I'm, I'm playing with you, yeah, fucking with you, right? So I bought forty acres of land. Why? Because I know that America rewards agriculture and mm, land on. They surely do. Let's put a cowl on there, fam. Why? Because now that changes my tax code. Financial Sorry. capabilities right now, right? It changes the tax code. So for me, but the stock market printed the money I needed to go buy the land. You know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? So for me, why wouldn't I print money like America print money? They ain't busting their butt. They ain't breaking their back. At they all. sitting in the room like we chilling. And they say, yo, Joe, what, what you want to lobby today? What you want to create today? Let's cre yes, what you got? You want you mm -hmm. to write a, let's write it. We gonna get some flag behind. Well, what's the pros and cons of writing this law? No, we gotta put some. We gotta put some shit in there for the others. Yeah, all right, we gotta do something. Like it'll be that. a two hundred page bill. Yeah, we really our focus is three up. Yep, be three <laughs> things, but we gonna get them niggas seventeen Everything. things, and then we run the media. So the media only gonna yep. highlight the seventeen things. Yep. They're not gonna talk about the three things that we get that behind we getting. closed doors. That's the beauty of the legislative branch of government. They writing the laws. They own stock, yep. they own real estate, and they, they own, own businesses. That's it. So them niggas are going to write the laws that benefit them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every time. That's it. And so while we complaining about this ain't going my way, this ain't going my way, you're right, it ain't going your way, but complaining ain't going to change it either. That shit ain't going to complain, that ain't going to change it. Sure. So we got to go equip ourselves. Yo, let's get equipped. I, I, I was on the phone with Storm the other night. And it was late, and we was bugging out. And I said, yo, dog, if the niggas tell you in it, because Storm play basketball, so we be doing basketball analogies. And it's like, yo, if, if they change the rules to say, yo, on a layup, I could take three steps. Guess what the fuck? When I go to the hole, I'm taking three, three steps. steps. I ain't going to keep sitting there taking two, saying, yo, man, it's fucked up that they said you we could take, take three, three now, steps. and I'm going to take three now. Yep. I talked to Corey about the shit the other day about um, and Ice. We was talking off mic. Ice like, yo, you ain't helped me. I'm like, nigga, I told you. And now that, that what he talked about with the, the the no interest and all that shit is young niggas, and that's why I said shout out to Instagram. Yo, they kids to yep. us. They kids, they grown ups, but they kids. Mm -hmm. Yo, these kids. I know girls that was used to be strip. I don't know them personally, but chicks with strippers. They got seven eighteen wheelers. Yep. <laughs> Yo, girls be walking to their 18 wheeler yep. with the poom poom shorts and the tattoos, body crazy. I love seeing that. Yo, I that shit is amazing, my nigga. Uh, the business owners yeah. out there finding success yes. in what they're doing. Son. All this truck, food, truck. All of that mm -hmm. shit, dog. Yeah. yeah. Yo, they got they got some other niggas that'll take the the because what he was talking about with the credit scores, mm -hmm. what these niggas is doing. He's a kid teaching me this shit. 25, 26. Teaching me, I'm like. I, you know what I'm saying? Dog, they taking credit scores and they turning credit scores into literal money. Yeah. No doc. Yeah. So you ain't got to come with no bank statements. You yeah. ain't come with no W-2s. You just got to have good ass credit. Yeah. And you start an LLC and that LLC is getting funded loans yeah. at low interest rates. Yeah. Now it's up to you to take to the money and do something with it. All them niggas got PPP money. Yeah. I got some. I ain't going to hold you. But it's what you it's what you do with the bread. You know what I'm saying? These niggas took that money, and the nigga might have went and took that PPP money for a hundred and went and put a down payment on. Cause in out of state, you could go get 
17 units for a half a million dollars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was your down payment money that the government gave you. Yeah. At 1%, 3%. Yeah. Now the tenants is paying that money back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's really about educating yourself. Like he said capability. It's, 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 proficiency. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, dog. It's, it, and it's easier now than ever to be a millionaire. It is, y'all. Yo. Yo. It yo. is, y'all. You him, and her, y'all are like the Ivy League <laughs> potters. <laughs> potters, <laughs> potters. Yeah, you're yeah. so stupid, you my nigga. So, so y'all wouldn't be with the second husband. <laughs> like y'all have taken the no. fun and just really educated me on too much right now. Oh, I love to talk about money, man. I do. Uh, you know, because and I, I love to listen about it too. I like to talk about shit. That, I like. I, I like homeless, to listen man. about it. You know, because we gonna need it. I always say that. Damn right. Millionaires always tell you money and everything because they don't have money problems no more. They had them all. Right, but to somebody who live in check to check, your money is everything. Let me get past the money problem so I can realize that money ain't everything. It's insulting. You know what I'm saying? So I'll never be the one to say money. I'll be like, shit. Nah, yeah. Let me it's get past the check to check phase so mm. I can understand the other traumas that I got mm-hmm. to deal with. <laughs> I'm still here. Let me learn them problems. <laughs> I want them problems. Let me deal with the financial right. part first. I want and so problems. once you, I think, you know, and I love it because we are in that phase, and I love the fact that. When I think about myself, when I think about Wall Street now, I get to do it my way. What do you think about your parents having a credit card in your name? Um, I don't know. First of all, I don't ever. I, don't, I ain't never met my pa. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And my mom. Well, Pops don't know him to get the credit card anyway. Yeah. And so my mom was. A, <laughs> so my mom was a hustler her whole life. She was. She went from. She did penitentiary chance. She did a whole bid. All right. So she don't count it. Significant. Yeah, so she I, don't. So the only thing is, it depends on your financial knowledge. I appreciate it if they're yeah. responsible. Yeah, if you don't got financial knowledge, then it helps hell no. It helps you. It helps they, you. If they're yeah, responsible, it helps no. you. If you're 17, you're 16, yep. and your mother got a credit card in your name, and she's using it responsibly, to build, and to all, build she, you. all she doing is building you a building line of credit. Because I'm going to do it with my little one. Mm-hmm. And they're giving you, because one of the keys is the length of time that you've had, had the, credit. the credit. So that's one so of the things I'm You yep. turn 20, but you got a four-year credit history at 20. Done. Nigga, that's something good. Yep. And if she been paying, because when you're paying on time now, they're going to increase your limits. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's going to give you a, a better utilization mm-hmm. and all this other shit. So I'm with it if they're yep. using your shit accordingly. Financial knowledge. Yeah. Understanding, understanding so when to use it. Oh, Trey grown, grown. And how to and how to put it together. Yeah, my son is a whole yeah, that nigga, a whole head. My nigga good. <laughs> yep. He yeah. out there selling that wake up now shit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? With you? I just called him. He had the suit on, turning. I'm like, nigga, where you going? This guy is looking crazy. like a man. <laughs> um, Something wrong with you, yo. What's wrong with you? Huh? We good? Yes, sir. I want to shout out the trap, man. Yeah, that was yeah. dope, man. I thought that was super fly of him to just be in town, swing by, especially with how busy that nigga be. Mm-hmm. Rich niggas always come to hang out with other rich niggas, so. Hmm. Look how you just devalued the man moment that we had. I'm a, I'm a <laughs> hater. You think I, 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 was, I was hating on him. You hating on him? <coughs> I had my phone. I zoomed into his phone. He showed some big shit. I didn't like that. I was hating. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Trap. He showed some big shit. Shout out to Trap. Shout out to Trap. Shout out to Trap. Shout out to, Trap. <laughs> Shout out to Trap. Idiot. Shout out to yeah. all the entrepreneurs out there. Shout out to the uh, nine to five working niggas. Shout out to everybody. Fuck it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. it. Shout out to Shout everybody out to getting everybody. it, man. However I was trying to get it. it. Yeah. There you go. It's fucked up out here, so. Mm-hmm. I, think uh, they, I think they a little plan of, of uh, introducing the pandemic, because like I told you, I think that's warfare. But I think it backfired. I agree. I think it backfired big time. Like and that, that ignite, ignited a spark in a lot of people and woke them up. That, that was the red pill for a lot of folks. Mm. Yeah, they're just going to move the goalposts, though. Yeah, I, th- I think they wanted big, to. That's um, what they do. I think they wanted yeah. to do some of the TikTok shit. TikTok is just their plan B. I think that they took the pandemic to implement shit that they wanted to change. Mm-hmm. With regard, because I heard at one point they was talking about if you get Section Eight, if you don't get the shot, mm-hmm. they taking your Section Eight. If you getting certain government benefits, if you're not getting the shot, they was proposing taking your shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's just a way to um, give your rights over to the government agencies. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, no, I meant I meant more so. In people, like a lot of people had to find another way to make some money. True. They lost the, you know, the work wasn't traditional the same. means. Yeah, yeah. So they, and then once that happened, that opened up uh, the drive in them that they didn't even know was there. 
And then now, because that's why a lot of these companies started having problems getting the motherfuckers to come back. Come back to work. Like, nigga, mm -hmm. no. I'm and niggas is like, yo, I don't want to work in your office no more. Yeah, I right. want to work remotely. If I can't work remotely, I'm quitting. Mm -hmm. Niggas moved. Mm -hmm. Like went no, to different people, states. A lot of people, a lot people moved. Niggas mm -hmm. moved, moved and went to different states, yo. Yeah. Because like, yo, my productivity and is the same. are still moving. Yes. Yeah. 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 They said a lot of people moved out of California as well. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The cost yeah. of living yeah. is too high. What the hell? The cost of living is high. It's fucked up. You know how many niggas moved from New York? I remember um, uh, last year I was a uh, I went to um, restoration. I went to restoration in the city, and I and I was looking at a bed, and um, and they was like, "Yeah, this bed gonna take uh, forty weeks, thirty eight weeks, some wild shit." And I was yeah. like, "What? <laughs> to get the bed?" He right. was like, "Yeah." yeah. He said, yo, all of the people in Manhattan, a lot of people in Manhattan, because, you know, Manhattan apartments are traditionally small. Mm -hmm. What was happening in Manhattan was so many people were leaving Manhattan, people were sizing up for the same amount of money. Right. So they it was allowing them to buy bigger furniture. Nicer furniture, too. Bigger furniture to fit into these bigger apartments where they didn't necessarily have the square footage no mm -hmm. more. It was, They was buying bigger shit. And I was mm -hmm. like, uh, I ain't... I, that size up is... The sizing up is over, though, right? But think now you're already in there under a lease term. So let's just say your apartment was 4500 a month in Manhattan. Mm. Nigga, that was 700 square feet. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So they weren't giving you more than, a, more than a year's lease with the... with the discounted rate. But no, but now by, by law, you can't up my rent but a certain amount. <laughs> 10%. That's what it is in New York. It, it's it, it's it I don't know what it it's, is in it's New York. discretionary. Three six to ten per, ten percent is the cap, and a lot of landlords after pandemic they went straight for the cap. So you can't do that in Jersey. I don't know about New York laws. I listen. I've I li you. I've lived in three of the most expensive cities in the entire world: Toronto, New York, and L.A. And fucking L.A. Like the cost, and I'm saying the cost of living here is way worse than L.A. Way worse. Toy told me that too. It mm. is. Mind Why? fucking blowing. It's weird how it's weird what's more expensive than not. Like gas is less expensive here mm -hmm. than in LA. Uh, when when I saw yeah, that shit go up shit. to like eight dollars a fucking gallon, I I was like I'm riding my bike everywhere. <laughs> um, but food is less expensive in LA, and I think that that ha just has to do with geography and yeah, what probably. and well, you know y'all have trash food. Yeah, what's that? Well, and y'all have trash food <laughs> in Cali. <laughs> yes. This guy is stupid, yo. I, yes. I'm speaking from the perspective of somebody that actually like goes to the market for like fresh fresh produce right. to cook her food. Got you it. know, shit, took your Got shit. It. Yeah. So that's the perspective. So don't when stun I'm on me. I, <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> don't stun on me with fresh produce. <laughs> she shit she asparagus. Shit. She shit asparagus. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> stupid, yo. But it's just like for the same amount of money that you can like find like a decent one bedroom and also have a car in LA, in New York. That's your rent. rent. And even now in Jersey, well, certain parts that, of Jersey. Well, give me that number because I'm unfamiliar. The, the okay, a car for, and a, no, one bedroom. Okay, for example, let me, let me give per perspective. So when I left New York, I lived in the financial district. I lived like a block away from Wall Street. And I was living, my place was like an 800 square foot. That deck. Oh, no, I know. That was a different apartment. That was oh. a whole different story, too. What are y'all talking about? Um, <laughs> what deck? My first apart her, her, my first apart apartment, deck? the first apartment that I lived in New York City um, in, in the financial district. How you know? Wait, how, 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 yeah. how you know? Huh? You said what? You saw your first apartment in the financial district? Yes. You, you got him. I think you Hey, flip. <laughs> fucking got him. Wait, wait, what? Joe, Joe, play it. Joe, play it. What the Joe, fuck? Joe, hey, dog, wait, grow wait. up, man. No, 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 no. Yo, yo, freeze. You get that. This is so stupid. Fucking got him. Melissa and I have friends in common. Stop, yo. That's what happened. <laughs> like, Why you just have friends we in common? We assumed y'all had friends in common. Yeah, we what, do what that. does that mean? Like yeah. two friends? Multiple. Mm -hmm. I don't, you ain't fly with them no more, right? One of them, I fuck so, that bitch, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So but, I was mm -hmm. at Mel's house for an event, and the deck was crazy. Yeah. Like, the, it was a... For an event. How many years ago was this? Yeah. Oh, this was like... 15. 10, 15. Really no, less. Nice. It, was about, like 10, it was about 13. We're asking her. So good. About 12 or 13. 12, about 12, 13 years, ago, years so, ago. So 2010. Yeah, so 20, so 2010, 2011, I lived um, in this building that, like, I had a one, one and a half um, bath, one bedroom, but my deck was, like, 900 square feet. Let me interrupt you for two seconds. Mm -hmm. 
You still think it's just us that make the narratives, honestly? Yes. <laughs> she was telling a story, and you came jumped right out, out in the there. clear blue Yo, but that deck though, that's not true. Ice. She was telling a story. Ice, come on, Tom. Ice, big freeze. She Nobody tell- said nothing about the deck. Free. No, she I didn't even know she had a deck. It was a deck. <laughs> big. <laughs> she <laughs> was there. She was telling a story about what you can get in New York for X versus what you get in LA. Then for Then she X. went into talking about her first her, her place in New York and the demographics of the apartment. And you, and you said the one with the balcony. The deck was crazy. And she wasn't even talking about that one, though. I wasn't. I know. I right. Word. <laughs> you You're right. I wasn't. Word. Yeah. So the apartment that I was living in. But before, wait, hold on. We got. Yeah, yeah, sorry, on. Sorry. We got your man. So you can slow the fuck down. Yeah, mute up. <laughs> mute, up. <laughs> mute up. Yeah, mute the fuck up. Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> she really muted. No oh, shit. Yeah, I respect that. So you don't think that you played no part in the narrative creating? No. Okay, Absolutely. Got it. Continue. <laughs> Okay, so back in 2016, when I left here and I moved to L.A., I was living in like 800 square foot. Oh, um, that carpet. Hmm? <laughs> Apartment. Oh, that bathroom. That shower was that fantastic. Was that. Now that was a shower head missing. <laughs> and that joint was 2,800 a month. Can't that was that was in 2016. That same apartment is going for. $4,100 right now. The exact same apartment, 800 square foot studio yes. is $4,100 a month. That shit is mind fucking blowing. You now in LA a, for $4,100 a month? You can't get an 800 square foot apartment in, in New York in, for $4,100 for for a month in LA. You're hmm. able to get, you're able to get like an apartment that's like maybe one, two bedrooms, two bathrooms for 1,500 square feet plus your car note and insurance. You know that. You could you could definitely yeah, do that. Yeah. All right, so it still it. sounds like it's just the, really the rent. No, it's that's the, the, it's the no, deck. No, you're getting more square no, footage. That's people's most, that, that's most people's biggest expense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is your I rent get. or your mortgage. So when you start talking about cost of living, the rent piece be yeah, the be biggest the, yeah. pop in the cost of in living. In like New York, most people's rent is at least 40%, if not 50% okay, of know. their entire yeah, take home. Yeah, that's know. that's fucking insane. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. That's nuts. That's insane. It is. Mm-hmm. That's why they don't prioritize. And plus... But I'm not mad at the, at the people that, that move, move from New York. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Like fucking Silva went to Florida. Mm-hmm. Fucking... Irv went to Florida with his wife. Mad, like, mad niggas be getting the fuck out of here. That's the, now that's where you bang them at. Irv took his wife and their household income t- to Florida. Because they was just there doing the math on what was going on here versus yeah. their together combined income out there. Mm-hmm. They are going crazy in Miami. And then and but then look, so let's just say, hypothetically, because mm-hmm. it's Irv. You're talking about Irv Gotti, right? No. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm talking about my man. Oh, Herb, I don't know. Herb that throw uh, throw the rounds. parties and shit. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but bunch I, rounds. I was about to say, bunch but have you sorry. have you had uh, 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 over here a rent of let's say six grand? Mm-hmm. When you go to Florida, do you know what you get for six grand in certain parts of Florida? Be clear, because they got some expensive shit out mm-hmm. there too. Yeah, they but do. yo, if you go to the right part of Florida, my nigga, you could have some new construction. 5,500 square foot shit, six, 7,000 square foot shit for $6,000 a month. Even how you talking, I guess I could be wrong, to me sound like some New York shit. Like if you say that sentence anywhere, yo, rent for six grand. I'm thinking, be like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. they look at us yeah. like yeah. we're you renting, yeah. you oh, pay what? what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't say 10. Yeah. And 10 don't say grand. Rent. <laughs> 10 grand for rent? Yeah. Like what? What? I remember my first apartment here in New York. I lived in Bed Stuy, and I had a two bedroom and one bathroom. Are you telling Icelandish? No, just I'm speaking in general. For all of us. Uh, yeah, just just putting in, in it, it, yeah perspective. Did it have a deck? It did not have a deck. <laughs> this was like my first, ve- my very first apartment, having just got off the plane from Toronto. You know, I'm brand well, new in New York. You probably wasn't having kickbacks at that crib. No, because I really didn't know anybody just yet. Yeah. I just, I just like moved here. Anyways, my apartment was like I was, I was paying nine hundred and sixty three dollars for rent in the year two thousand two thousand one. That shit is crazy to think about now. That same apartment and is thirty five hundred dollars in Bro- rent, and so all the Brooklyn people coming to Jersey. Yeah, all of the Brooklyn people. My girlfriends to, they got all moved from all moved from Brooklyn, and they live in <laughs> Cliffside Park now. Yeah, about the soldier boy. Them. <laughs> no, the, uh, the whole Brooklyn is living in Jersey. It's or true. Atlanta. That's true. 
I don't like all these niggas coming to Jersey. Get, get out of here. <laughs> Jer- Jersey is full. And again, you could commute. It's the same commute. Right. Mm-hmm. So you work in Manhattan, it's the same commute, sometimes even less. Yeah, now that you, now that you, we going down memory lane. When I was in, uh, in 2002, when I was in, uh, what's that, Harmon Cove in Secaucus? Mm-hmm. Big three bedroom, three floor, crazy shit. That shit wasn't number 3600. <laughs> I'd be scared to find out what that shit costs now. Same in Hackensack, uh, Prospect Ave, thirty five hundred, big three bedroom. Mm-hmm. I was about to say that was a big ass apartment back then for three grand. Yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. What because I'm I remember when the landings, right here, the landings, the landings was one bedroom and the landings was like seventeen hundred back then for the one bedroom. It was like seventeen hundred dollars, nigga. And you know, not trying to be funny. <laughs> look, the landings got to. No, it's some heat in there. Oh, they must have re- renovated. <laughs> they, they, no, they built some heat. I'm about to say they renovated. White appliances, wall to wall carpet, <laughs> the drop in sinks. See, when you talk like that, they start killing me for some reason. <laughs> I wonder why that is. No, because you'll say the pores. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, Honda Accords is poor. What would you call them? I don't call that poor. I said, what would you call them? I don't call them nothing. You live in an apartment. But think of something to call them. The hard workers. I, no, I think that now in this neighborhood that's outdated, <laughs> the, uh, the, they still uh, got that shit. <laughs> the shit that they had 15, 20 years ago, they still have in the same apartments. So when you start comparing them to the... So, look at this. Yeah, I'm just throwing you an alley to have some fun. I, I know. <laughs> this this <laughs> nigga got 80-foot door. Yeah, I'm going to Look how tall the doors is. <laughs> Yo, please take a big pen. <laughs> <laughs> look, look oh, at the door. issue open. I got it. Hold on. He, he, just, roofed, <laughs> he just roofed the shit. <laughs> Yo, pass it <laughs> <laughs> you be doing that You be, Yo, throwing, you be throwing shit in the yeah, lake Yeah shut the throwing, fuck up with all that education shit How nigga I'm talking about Look at this shit <laughs> You gonna blow it up <laughs> Look at the ceiling Yeah exactly Yeah. What Ain't about it well, this bill, this bill, bill, They're high they High as giraffe ass I'm Nigga what it. you mean I get it They don't got that up the street Oh, I see. <laughs> so, yeah. Five five with brown eyes. Boy, <laughs> is that for me? I'm happy I'm, that you're I'm good. Likewise. I'm happy it's in good. your it's in your it's in oh, your future man. uh you found, man. a little spin back to this hood. I hey Jump, keep it real, Jump. It's 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 Hell yeah. He ain't saying it, but it's it ooze, it's oozing out. He can't wait. A spin back is coming in his future. He can't wait. A couple of little things you a dirty nigga. <laughs> Hello? I don't know what he's talking about. Shit. I gotta get that joke. I'm thinking about getting up. <laughs> <laughs> now the spin bag is coming. It is. I, I see it. I see it. What do you say, Flip? Yeah, what do you say, Flip? <laughs> Mel, Mel, Mel tight about that shit. What shit? Stop oh, the playing. Kingsley shit? Yeah, I don't what? like that. Nah, nah, hold on, hold on. Nah, hold on. I got this. My business, my business. I got this. I'm talking to my man. I saw me. Mm-mm. Please, no. Shout out to the king of, excuse me, I'm not talking about you now. Okay. I talk about you. Shout out to the king of motherfucking content, KOC. Oh. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Pronounce it, ladies man. KOC, can you just pronounce it for us? KOC? Yeah. I don't understand. King of content. King of content. Oh, okay. He was saying what KOC as this a word would mean. Very good. He don't want to say that word. King of content. No, he was saying KOC, those three letters together as one word cock. would be. And he didn't want to say it. Oh, cock. That's why. That's so how I'm asking sure. you to Sorry. say it. That's also how, how mad you are. You can't even catch the, the, the freaky references. <laughs> <laughs> I put you through a test. We got it. Uh, we got it. We got it. We and got it. And I'm on your side, though. I, I'm going to flip on that nigga. We, we, we go. Uh, I'm on your side. I'm going to flip on I'm going to park that nigga shit when we go off this shit. Oh and I'm doing the ball. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I'm just happy, man. nigga. Look at me with the. He ugly, said, "I'm just happy." The ugliest wink. That nigga can't even <laughs> wink cool. This nigga don't even wink cool. Uh, nigga, geez. whole face move like oh. a Rottweiler. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay. 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 Yeah. Let's That's break right. it down. See? Nah, I'm not. I'm probably the receipt. What, what are we doing? Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A. Exhibit A. Corporate hey, espionage. Now I was looking at how you hoodie. Corporate oh, espionage. There you go. Voice lowered again. <laughs> Calm. Feet swinging. Yeah. Respect it's the niggas. Man West swing. Respect niggas. Uh, before I play Money Power Respect. <laughs> I mean, oh, while I announce something like that. 
Why are you fixing your hair? I'm just, I was, my shoulder was pinning it to Itching, the couch. Right? No. Just anything. No, I'm okay. <laughs> This <laughs> nigga's so stupid, yo. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you fire though. The shit you do with the sake of content is crazy. I peep this I know, shit. I know. You gotta stop peeping peep my shit too. You can fire it. Fuck out of here. Uh, did you want to play that? Uh, did you want to play that Lamar Jackson clip or no? No. Nah, Jalen Rose. Right? I mean, we could talk about it though. I, I think that um, he was saying how from 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 the rip. I can play it. I was only asking because I know we have we had spoke about this before. No, I, but not, to my knowledge, there's been no extent. current update. No, there's no update to my knowledge either. Which is I'm gonna send it to you. Well, that was just a few. That was just uh, March 3rd or some shit. Yeah, where he announced that shit, right? I don't, well, no, he didn't. So announce what, 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 what are we talking about? He didn't oh, announce no, he didn't, it. Yeah, it's about football, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The he guy that the guy that wanted a bit that that wanted he wants more the guarantee contract. Yeah, yeah, he wants a contract from the team he's performed for for. Years and years and years, and really do seem like they are shitting on him. So if he doesn't, yo, let me tell y'all right now, and I'm not here to talk sports because we done great day of work today. We out of here. But if the Giants pull off T Higgins somehow, (laughs) oh man, I'm talking shit. (laughs) I don't think we're gonna do nothing still. But but the shit talk will be there though, dog. But what happened, guys? If he doesn't get what he wants, he's just a free. I don't understand how this works. And I really hope y'all don't get stuff on (laughs) (laughs) That'll ruin the whole football season for me. Actually, <laughs> seriously, dead ass. What happened? If he, what happened? If what? What happened if he doesn't get what he wants? Then he just goes back to his original team yeah. for thirty-two mil. Yeah, thirty-two million. If oh, he okay. wants to play, he could hold out. Yeah, I'm about to say he probably would. Hold, well, I, well, I can't hold, say probably. I mean that he doesn't play. He just don't play. Really? I'm just showing up. I, I, He'll I still get paid. Though? I can see him holding see out for sure. Yeah. I don't know. But I don't he hasn't said anything yet. Does he still get paid for holding out? Because actually, they would start charging him. What? They would start charging. Yeah, you want to breach a contract? Yeah, you want to play around? I think even I think even him holding out allegedly in the last two years where he's been injured, he's allegedly yeah. Yeah. been not playing, even though he could play mm-hmm. because they're not treating him right. Mm-hmm. I think that has hurt his stock because you've heard a lot of GMs say, "Yo, he's like missed part. X Y Z games per year. Like we can't give him a guarantee." I don't contract. like that. I'm just telling you what's going to happen. No, I, I, I don't. I don't like it's when crazy. they start to paint that picture. I don't like that. I like. I think they've started to paint that picture because it behooves them to do so. Like, yo, he could have played. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nigga, if my shit is fucked up, may, yeah, maybe I could play. But how many people have injured themselves further or re-aggravated sure. some shit? No, no, no. But, even worse, when they could have played, but I'm But I'm even hurt. if you couldn't have played. I'm not. Even and, if you couldn't have played. On, like finish. he didn't. Go ahead, go ahead. And then y'all won't pay me? And you think I'm supposed to get out there and play hurt? And y'all won't pay me? But the fuck out my face. But Ish, even if you, let's say the injury is legit and you couldn't have played and you didn't, mm-hmm. you still come off as injury prone. True. So now it's like, I don't want to pay you this guaranteed money when looking at the last two seasons, you've been injury prone. I saw somebody on ESPN. And you're, say, oh, and you're okay. in a position where the type of player you are, you run around you're a likely lot. To get so you're, a li- you're likely to get hit more me and you than agreed a pocket on that. quarterback. Me and you so, agreed on that. And you're injury prone. Why am I guaranteeing you all this money again? That's the line I really hate. I don't like that line about you run more, so you're more prone to injury. Because you now, run more because so you're more prone to being hit. hit. Yeah, but and then looking at your last two years, you are injury prone. But is looking he at good? the last two years, y'all also haven't put any receivers. I'm here. just yeah, yeah I'm, y'all have also haven't done anything in this organization to make us better. I I'm, I'm just That's saying, looking at saying him. The, the what my, Ravens draft well. What I'm do. trying to say ain't even about. They have Lamar a monster Jackson. offensive line. They have monster running backs. They have and, a monster tight end. They have a good defense. They they put a good team around. Just not wide receivers specifically. And that, and that's important though to get the pressure off your ass. Yeah. I'm gonna put eight in the box when I know y'all can't throw to nobody. So you're gonna run the ball exceptionally well. Mm-hmm. Your quarterback runs exceptionally well. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna put eight in the box, and I'm gonna have the safeties blitzing often because I know y'all can't throw the ball. Y'all don't have no receiver that could get separation on a one on one. Now I'm on your ass. They did have receivers that got separation, quite a few. Cool. Uh, John Brown saying? was very fast. Uh, Are you saying one? this year? Uh, the Mar- other, Mar- the Mar- dude, huh? Hollywood Brown. Hollywood Brown was Hollywood very Brown fast. Wasn't but there this year? No, he wasn't no. there this year. No. I'm talking about in his career. He's talking about they've okay. never put receivers there. They have put receivers there. Not superstar receivers, but they've drafted receivers. They have drafted young receivers that have performed well at times. 
The Ravens are a well-run organization. They they're treating him Except, dirty, but they're a very, very well-run organization. But I think their concept of being a good team is always predicated on defense and ground and pound. True. Mm-hmm. With him, you can't have that same ideal, or he's going to get hurt. He's going to get hurt. If you keep uh, ground and pounding, he's going to get hurt. Joe Flacco ain't run, running through that door, buddy. I think that's where some of that arrogance is coming from. Animus, yeah. Like, we won with Joe Flacco in a, in a tough division. No, you didn't. Y'all won with the best defense in football. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. What are that? Fam, all he had to do was not make mistakes. What did y'all, what did nah, they Joe Flacco nah, did a little nah, more nah. than that. He, he, he balled out that year. Yeah, he, he did. That yeah. year, he did ball out-ish. Bro, what, what did they win the Super Bowl? What was the score? They beat y'all, right? No. Yes, they did. Well, they did. That was 2001. That wasn't Joe Flacco. That was, no, that was we Trent wasn't in the Super Bowl. Bowl. Yes, sure. Flacco was. just won the no, Super no, Bowl. No, no. He's talking about 2001 when y'all beat... The Ravens. No, I'm talking about oh, this decade. Or the Ravens beat y'all. What did the Niners? They were the Niners. Was the Niners. Yeah, the Niners. Was the Ravens. Was the Niners. I didn't want either team. That was the blackout, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was the that was the blackout. Nah, he showed up that game. Nah, he showed up. He definitely. That season. Used to- and then did. Was that the year that he got the big contract, or right after that he got the big uh, contract right and you that, never saw him big, again? Yeah, correct. And you never saw him again. Correct. Listen, this is going to get dicey when Joe Burrow next year lock in his deal. Well, that's and, coming. And get 300 mil guaranteed, that, no questions that asked That might come sooner than that. Huh? That might come sooner than that. <laughs> and, yes. Uh, and then we're going to have a beef. It might come and sooner then we're than have that. we're going to have a beef. Yeah. I don't know how legit the beef is, but there will be one. Wait, why would there be a beef? Why would there be a beef? Because y'all paying the white quarterbacks and y'all not paying the black quarterback. Well, that's not true either because... Deshaun is black. Mahomes is black. Kyler Murray is black. They got paid. Well, no, 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 no. We, Russell no, no, Wilson no, no. got paid. The, but Russell the Wilson argument ain't to say that a black quarterback would never get paid. Like, that ain't what the argument would be. The argument is, would be Lamar Jackson, the last black quarterback that tried to get it, who's an MVP, who has performed, versus Joe Burrow, who everybody knows is the man, I sent you just having much. no problem in the I, world. And I think that yeah. this is what I think. Look where Joe Burrow has taken this team for the Last how many years now? Now Two. he's fucking now, but proven. Wait, but to my Lamar, to my Lamar Jackson point, Dude, Joe Burrow does Bowl. none of that if they don't draft Jamar Chase. <laughs> if they don't put a receiver there, he got three receivers there, really good ones too. He do. He has three good receivers. They might have the best receiving core in football. He is not seeing back to back Super Bowls or conference whatever that was mm. without Jamar Chase. I'm I'm agreeing. I agree I'm with just, that. I'm just saying none of the three receivers that they have, you got to stick one of them one on one. If Chase get the double team, who's their third? It's Higgins and Boyd. Boyd, yeah. Boyd, 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 and got, Boyd is tough. Yeah, yeah. You Boyd know what I'm tough. saying? Like, so that's my. And they got and a they good back. Got, I'm about to say they still got a monster running back. And they got a good back in Mixon. Real good back. Yeah. So my thing is this, and I think this is what the issue is for me. I think I'm seeing something that other people are not seeing. He's representing himself. I said that. I think they don't want a trend of him, of black athletes or athletes in general, coming out representing themselves and getting maximum deals because all it's going to do is create a wave of people thinking that I don't need representation because he did it. I'm going to follow suit. And I think they don't want that. So they're trying to penalize him for that. My only pushback to that would be I would assume that. They like players representing themselves so they can get the better over. Yeah, yeah. so they can get the better of the situation. Mm-hmm. Not, but not I if, wouldn't think they'd be scared of that. But not if you represent yourself accordingly. So look, and, and that's what he's doing. Because you don't just because you're not just because you're representing yourself, that don't mean I don't got attorneys reading my contracts. I can still yeah. have attorneys reading my contracts and I can pay an attorney on an hourly fee. I don't know if I completely agree with this because Laramie Tunsil just signed a monster deal representing himself in Houston. That's true. Monster deal. He's not a quarterback. How much guaranteed money are you getting to? A lot. A lot. A lot. 80 million or something? He's the highest paid or some shit. Yeah, he's the highest paid tackle in football. Really? Yeah. yeah. Not. Is he good? He's very good. He's tough. He, he's tough. Um, the Texans is trying to do a little bit. They are. On they the are. low. They yeah. are. I think they 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 trying to re-up because they represent, I mean, their uh, reputation throughout the, the league is trash. Their representation oh, is one of a good old gutter. boys club. Yeah, yeah, it's in the gutter. Like, they, they don't fuck with nobody. They not paying nobody. It's a poorly run organization, so I think they're trying to change that. We five months away from football being bad. Can't I'm wait. happy. Can't wait. I'm happy. And the playoffs about to start in basketball. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go to a Nick game. I am. Playoffs about to start. Uh, I'm cool. I'm done. <laughs> I, had a, I had a relationship. Uh, Topic. Yeah, to bring to y'all about something Jermaine Dupri said. 
about him and Janet Jackson. I thought it was pretty interesting. Actually, I'll tell y'all, and we could just close out with this. Okay. Jermaine Dupree was doing an interview, and he said one of the arguments that he and Janet used to have was based around him not providing her with a hit. Like, she would see him give out all of these hits to all these artists. Really? And you wouldn't give me one. And his thinking was, one, I never wanted you to think that was my play all along. Mm. And two, why would I ever think I need to give Janet Jackson a hit? <laughs> You're Janet Jackson. Right. I wanted to just ask, I understand both sides of this, and I see how that could tear a household up. I just wanted to see where y'all fell in that. Uh, like that's a very it's tricky. That's a super small, complicated position. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's hard to even make a uh, analogy to real life when you're talking about the Jacksons. You know what I'm saying? And Jermaine Dupree and JD. <laughs> you and know Jermaine what I'm saying? Dupree. Like, I think uh, I'm, I'm gonna go last. Uh, I would probably try to make a record with my wife if my wife was Janet Jackson. Girl, not wife. Oh, we're married? Yeah, we're married. not married. Yeah. Oh. What, what, what's your stance? Mine? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I could see why he would be... Um, Apprehensive. Yeah, because, because um, I think a lot of people were surprised when they got together. And um, if I were him, I would be worried that she would think that the, you know that one of the only reasons I was with her was to make music with her or whatever. Just anything other than the fact that, like, I love, I love this you woman, you. you know? Yeah. Um, and also the assumption of, you're fucking Janet Jackson. Why would you need me? You know, so I could, I could see his point. Um, but to Parks' point, when you're in a relationship with each other, don't and you're and you're both musically inclined. Doesn't that? I would think it would come up. You come in while making a beat or something and start killing some well, shit. They were together for years. I agree with you, and that would be the bonus. My only thing is, if that's not happening, should it cause the fight? No, I don't think it should cause the fight. That's that sounds like bad to... communication. I yeah, about... I was gonna say it sounds like some unsaid shit. Because how do you say that? I was about to Yo, say Yo, why you ain't give me a hit but you like, gave all these other niggas Because you're with T Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. I you're like Janet. I grew up to you. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like an insecurity to me. From who? Her. He caught her at the tail end when she wasn't... When she, she was, wasn't what? She was still Janet. She's always going to be Janet Jackson to us. But musically... Pumping out music like that. Yeah, saying. she wasn't... You Bigger know what I mean? And so back back, I guess. think that might have weighed on her some... And she wanted to be back in the, the, the limelight, like, yo, dog, Janet Jackson hasn't had a hit, especially when she was with him in a, in a while. <clears throat> we, so, we, oh, go ahead. So that, that's what I think. Yeah, like, don't come take know. that shit out on me. Or, yeah, that's hey, what I'm saying. it almost sounded like that was her intention. Nigga. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Tan? Tan? I got you, with you, you to get the you hit. You was in my and man you? JD like that. <laughs> I think it's pretty crazy to, like, Just be saying. with a... a, a, a an artist, like something that you directly do and this never comes up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a really bad communication. Yo, I need a hit. I'm going to say Janet Jackson is with Jermaine because Dupree women, Because women never want did. you to just do what they're thinking you should right. do she without telling you, right? You're yeah, what's right. up now. with you, man? You okay? She was on a, she was on a tell end, man. What Mel say? Like, we going to say Janet Jackson. I said, we're really going to sit here and say that Janet Jackson was with Jermaine Dupree strictly because she was hoping he was going to make her... Come on now. I never said that. I roll. Oh, come on now. I roll. Janet is yeah, super her. duper I roll. Janet but Jackson why? is a legacy fucking artist. Indeed. She mm -hmm. can go on tour and sell them out with all the music that she's made. She doesn't ever have to make another hit as far as I'm concerned. Like, that's just the You're bottom right. fucking that line. But, that's just but, it. Hold on, hold on, so hold on, is she with feel? Jermaine Dupri because she's hoping uh, he's going to make her a hit? No. But some that people, hold on, hold on, flip, okay. but some people. When girls do that shit all the time. Yeah, they do. We're not talking about girls. We're talking about Janet. And Jackson. some people still want to We're be gonna that. Put some respect on her name. Mel. Some people don't want to age out. Some no. people <laughs> don't want to don't want to accept true. the fact that I'm no, not no, that no more. That's true. So I'm gonna get with the nigga that's still hot and give me some heat. Well, hold on. And now I'm mad at you that you're not getting me back to where I once was in the public. <laughs> well, well, how long were they together for? We're super speculative. They were together like what four or five years? It was it was a while. Did they get back together? What hit did he have at the time? 
What year or what? Hit? Yeah, yeah, what year? Because I, I can know. tell. What I don't song think that he was even super active at that time. To be honest, I don't so think so either. See, I think he 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 always is active. He just be in the cut. He's active. He be in the he's, cut he's, more he's now active. than he used to be. And like you'll look at an album that's fire and be like, oh shit! I don't JD like the way you're saying Jermaine Dupri name. Why? Because well, you're saying it like this should be some stench attached. Because we're talking about the mm-hmm. iconic Janet Jackson. No, we're not. We're also a, talking about the, the iconic, iconic Jermaine Dupri. I'm, I'm not taking anything away from how iconic so Jermaine Dupri is. Why could she not because want I, a song from. I'm not saying me. that she doesn't. O2. I'm not saying that she wouldn't want oh, a five. song, Fisheries. but I'm. He's building Mariah Carey. 02 until 09. He's not, building uh, Mariah Carey at this very moment. Yeah, no, really? I'm not, Confessions might have came out around 02. He's on fire. Wait, yeah, that part too. He's yeah, out of here. Yeah, he's on fire. He's gone. Absolutely on fire. Right. Yeah, Janet wants it. Yeah, yeah. And wish back later, of course. But yes, Usher. I think Janet. I think <laughs> sorry, Janet wanted it. Mean, but to say that I'm Janet Jackson got Janet. with him for that purpose, that I'm not agreeing with. <laughs> I'm a little busy right now. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> that's say what Ice was saying. No, 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 no. That's what he alluded to. He said it could be. I said it comes with I said because if you're mad at oh, him for shit. not giving you a hit, you mm-hmm. confessions? why yeah. could it be that there was something there like, yo, I got with you to get a hit? Shit, really? And I never got that out of you. She could have, because yeah. she didn't have to That's, get... I didn't say that was the, the only thing, reason. She didn't have to... If confessions was out, I'll be mad too. She didn't have to get... <laughs> <laughs> You couldn't, you couldn't give me I mean, none of them joints. Let them flames, <laughs> And the third wave of Mariah. And the third wave of Mariah. Let it burn. Second and third. Yeah. Let it burn. Yeah. How much yeah, did she want to burn? When We Belong Together came out. <laughs> right around that time. <laughs> <laughs> right around that time. <laughs> she wanted to. Right around she, that time. She wanted to We Belong Jan, Together. Janet oh, wanted to shake it off. You had to shake it off. She wanted that. Come on, she wanted that. Oh, now if you're JD, you're like, I got something special for you. Don't just worry. Let me finish this one. Yo, hold on. That changes some shit now. We can see why Janet was 05. Janet, they go together. in the they fucking together, house they together seven and years. sit your fucking ass down yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave me and Mariah <laughs> and <laughs> Usher <laughs> alone. <laughs> go back to that shit. You a buster. Go call Buster. Shit. <laughs> yeah. That shit was up. fire. That's fucked up, Jermaine. I'm going to call my brother. Man. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. We out. We out of leave. That's it. What? Don't say that. Stop. Yo, Jermaine, fuck Tito. <laughs> Jermaine was going crazy. <laughs> oh, you right. never said fuck all them niggas. Yo. No, I wasn't making the dead joke that y'all I, I, thought I was. He was gonna say other Mike. brother. Sheesh. He was gonna say fuck Mike though in 02. No, no, no. Nah, he wouldn't say that in time. Nigga, <laughs> jag it at. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 hey, Janet. Whoa, whoa, hey, chill out, dude. Yeah, where the party at was out in 02 and 03. Bow Wow. Bow Wow was coming around that time. 05. Look, I'm going through year by year. I'm done with Mel. Sheesh. Yes, I'm done with you. So you giving all this heat out and I can't get one? Nah, sorry. No, you can't. I can see the Mariah Carey joint though. That nigga did six joints on Emancipation of Mimi. Mimi. Six. I can see why. I can see why. She'll be tight for Mariah. Uh, Chris Brown running it in my bed, Drew Hill. Hey, yo, chill, my mom. <laughs> oh, yeah. You oh, living the Drew in, the, Hill we in the crib. Do you want to dance? Oh, I'm going to make you dance. I'm going to make, make you, you move, Drew Hill. I got this feeling. I can't turn it loose. And somebody else Pick up Janet and knock on the studio. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, nah, yo, he did. Nah, you know Jano's in their hate wow. like. Hey, hey, he wow. Wow. He raised his hand. You know Jano's in their hate like. She's a little fly. Yo, but not wow. yo. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, wow. two, look, in 2006, he did seven songs on Janet's album. But <laughs> and that shit ain't it, it. You ain't the same Janet. Mm. Wow. Okay. Mel, it wasn't. Uh, it, hey, wasn't hey, it wasn't. Hey, that hey, oh, it wasn't that pack. It wasn't that pack. Mel, you. Mm, I, we. I'm, I'm agreeing mm, with you. Mm, mm, Janet Jackson is oh, top shit. seven. Are you good? She sure circuit. She's like, I'm in that. I'm in that. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Doing some Janet shit right now. Oh. Doing some Janet 07 shit. <laughs> that was her. That was her ninth studio album. What was the name of that album? The Janet one. <laughs> Twenty Yo. That's my boy. <laughs> 20 years? Yo. Oh, he gave her the keep, keep busy back. <laughs> Here, man. Yo, but no, it's Go funny. right to this. It might have been some heat, and she just didn't produce I'm like, not shitting on Janet because nah, nah, nah. I, Pull it because out. when Pull No Sleep with Cole came out, Pull up I loved album. it, and Ice. it performed well for her. Pull up 20 YO would, real quick. Ice, fuck that real quick, please. I didn't even know that was an album. Yeah, please. 20, 20 YO Janet. <laughs> what's, the, what's the record Jermaine Dupree made? Oh, 
2020 YO 2006 oh, yeah. She did Demita Joe In 2004 Oh no she it was did, Heat on there It was Heat on Demita Joe Is Jermaine Dupri on there I don't know. Is he on Demita Joe? I need to see and what Discipline, did... she did in 2008. I never heard of Demis I never Discipline heard of... or 20 Y.O. What, 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 did, what did Jermaine give on? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Plug me, it up. Give me some of the songs uh, that he did on there, yo. JD, Patronis, we are definitely going y'all. home if some men come on. JD, I don't know. I'm not going to give Jermaine to Joe. No, you said 20 Y.O., bro. Go ahead. Give me one of the songs. I got the album right I got you. I pulled up the... He did seven songs. Go to the song. Wait, nigga. So excited. So excited. So excited. Now, that sounds like it should be a single. I did hear this. I heard this before. This worked for that her. That wasn't him. Oh, yes, it was. This worked for her. Nah, Give me I don't want to hear that call, shit. Call on me with Nelly. Uh, call on me. I remember this. He said he gave I us remember some traction, this. yo. Uh, this is Mar- I remember if this. If Mariah was on this song, this would have been Ooh. smoking. Oh, uh, he gave her to Mariah's Z-Sides. <laughs> 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 Give me one more, one more. Uh, do one it more. to me. Do it to me. Oh nah, he provided some heat. You better be respectful, Jermaine Dupri. I have no. No, I'm not. I didn't like how you did that. I didn't like how you did that. You did too much. I did not. Yes, you did. I was. A, I was doing that in response to what he was alluding. This Mariah. This is with no ID. This beat us. With no ID. This, this beat is crazy. Yeah, I'm like, what the? F- <laughs> Just. <laughs> This is definitely Mariah. This is a Mariah song? No, no. I'm saying. You can hear that. Doo, 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 doo. That's Mariah. <laughs> this beat is tough, though. Oh, and that's... um. That was a jam. What's her man name? Fam, uh, oh, we're not going to admit that that was on the decline of Janet Jackson. We just named two back-to-back albums that niggas didn't even know came out. He gave some some Z's. Yes, it was on the decline of Janet Jackson. Okay. Also, yes, he gave her some heat. She can't be mad at him. That was John she T- can't be mad at him. She can't John, be mad at him. John T- Austin, Austin too. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, he and he went and got the, the, Yeah, yeah, I had gang with me. Yeah. I brought my same Mariah pack yeah, over yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Then he you, did five. You, jo- he did five joints on the next Brian album Michael called Cox. Discipline. You just not. All right, give me one. Oh yeah, she was you. Give me one. I'm The one featuring Missy. From, I'm saying it. You from the, the one? from what you the said, ha, he said in the interview, it made it sound like they didn't do any music together. Sure. That's what that's what that sounded like. Correct? Does everybody else get that? I agree. Okay. Yeah, so, that's that's kind of what I took from it. Exactly. So we all took the same thing from that interview that from what you said that they gave he gave they didn't work together at all. So now we're finding out that they worked together sure. and they just didn't catch one. They just didn't catch one together. Mm-hmm. That's a whole different fucking story but then I see you out here different story. I see you out here catching them like fucking he was catching them in those <laughs> so she was just hey, yo, I see you out here yeah. catching, she was hey. catching them like not, no not you Janet oh, was, was, was hating right she was hating right. she was hating well, well, whatever the case you is like, oh, oh, there you go. whatever the case is say I, she was hating I'm saying no I'm still oh. I'm still going back to what Ice was saying my insinuation was based off of what he what I was saying was based off his insinuation that she was only with Janet or Janet was only with him to get a hit. And no, I'm like, well, no, 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 no. What, I, what I was saying, you, 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 you misunderstood what I was saying. Mm. For the argument presented, I said, for her, I'm taking his quote, mm. for her to get mad at him saying, yo, you gave him heat, but I didn't get no heat. It could be, like he said, some insecurity as to, hey, I, I, I came over here to make, I want to be able to get some heat from you while I'm here. Right. And I ain't getting none. Well, what if JD just made not that saying up? That's the only reason. Mm. I'm not I wasn't saying that. Y'all think JD could just made that up? That's <laughs> some old school shit. <laughs> no, that could have potentially like really happened in the next just For seven years you've been with me. I'm seeing you do J- Jagged Edge, now, he Monica, has shit. Yo, he has fucking shit. Usher. Mariah is just Fuego. Yeah, yeah. at the time. Yeah. And, and I put two albums out while I'm with you. You did half of my album and nothing came of them. She's hating. I'm tight. <laughs> you think she's hating, man? That's hate. If, if this is if this happened this way, that's hate. That's hate. You would never. You I did two joints. I did two joints. She's not hating, right? Shit, man. No, she was hating. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Y'all all that. Gonna make, gonna make, gonna make my money stand me on you. If you and me. Them fucking outfits out of here, man. Yeah, fuck it. That shit was hell, though. When that shit came out, I said, oh, shit. What's the shit she did with Michael? 
Scream! Scream! Oh, scream. scream. Oh. Yeah. Makes me what? Fuck out of here! Stop pressuring me. Yeah, that's what she was Stop doing to JD, pressure. pressuring him for a hit. Yo, JD had that shit bad loud in the in the studio when she was knocking I'm on the door. Just saying though. No. <laughs> Yo, Yo. <laughs> what? Watch how the drums come on. Hey, dog. <laughs> Hey, you know what, Janet? I'm bad too. Uh, <laughs> hey, fam. Yeah, no, I'm going home on this. <laughs> you good? You good? Yeah, you, you all right. Good. She don't want to say it. Look, look, look. Yeah, we, she yeah, Look, it's understood. It's silent. Yeah, yeah, we got it, man. We got it. We got it. We hit this shit for us, man. We with you. You know what I'm saying? Hit this shit for us. Come on, hit this shit for us. New Joe Biden.